Greetings and salutations and welcome to Sioux Eagles Hockey online at Hockey TV and on the radio ESPN 1400. As the man said, my name is Scott Nason, broadcasting from Polar Stadium on this Friday night, winning the start of the latest version of the border battle between the Sioux Thunderbirds and the Sioux Eagles. Our cameraman tonight here at Polar Stadium is Rob Horner, broadcast engineer back in the ESPN 1400 studios is Sam Cox. We'll be joined here in a moment by color commentator Larry Pazabon as the Eagles and Thunderbirds set for a big game. Uh, in my opinion, this is the biggest game of the year for the Sioux Eagles. Right now, two points behind the Sioux Thunderbirds for third place in the West Division. The Eagles come into tonight's game off a victory on this past Saturday over Elliott Lake by the score of 4 to nothing. The Eagles come into the game with a record of 22 wins, 17 losses, one overtime loss, and two shootout losses. They have 47 points, fourth in the West Division, two points behind the Sioux Thunderbirds, who are 22-14, 2-3, 49 points. The Thunderbirds do have one game in hand on the Eagles, both the Thunderbirds and Eagles chasing the Blind River Beavers and Rayside Balfour Canadians for first and second place. Still a possibility, but it's getting a little tougher as we get further into the season. So this is a big game for the Eagles. I'm calling it the biggest game of the year because a win tonight in regulation, the Eagles can tie the Thunderbirds. Uh, Thunderbirds still would have a game in hand, but a loss tonight for the Eagles. And all of a sudden, the Thunderbirds four points ahead of them with a game in hand. So this is a big game for the Sioux Eagles. Now, those that have tuned in on Hockey TV, well, let me tell you, we have been waiting for this for a very, very long time. As you can see, it looks a little different here at Polar Stadium. I put a tweet out there that we have gone from the Atari 2600 to the PlayStation 4. As far as our broadcast, we were finally able to get our HD camera compatible to the HD setup with Hockey TV. And as you can see, the picture looks better than ever. And we're finally up to par on that. And a much uh, thanks to all the fans and their patience. I know it's been something that we've been promising for a while, but due to uh, some technical difficulties and other related issues, we're back and we're on. And hopefully the audio broadcast can be as good as the video because the video looks fantastic. So you're going to see games from now on here at Polar Stadium in a whole new way. And we are very excited about that. So if you are watching on Hockey TV or listening on ESPN 1400, we would love to hear from you. And one of the ways we do that here at Polar Stadium is we like to hear from the fans. And the easiest way you can do so, you can try to yell at us here during the broadcast. We can't hear you because we have headsets and microphones and all that good stuff. But we can read Twitter. And you can tweet me at ScottNason3. That's S-C-O-T-T-N-A-S-O-N and the number three. Let us know where you're watching from. Let us know what you think about the broadcast. And especially let us know what you think about the HD camera. want to say hello already to Mike Gilmore watching it along with steve-o from auburn california hoping for an inspired performance from jake lamberty and the eagles and steve-o wants to give a shout out to lenny maria hawk and patty and number 77 shiak of the first place honey badgers also want to say hello to maria and lenny lamberty watching in so we'd love to hear from all the fans eagles will be here tomorrow night to take on the elliott lake wildcats in a rematch from last saturday and looking at the other games going on in the NOJHL tonight, besides this one, lots of games. Four games total, a couple games already underway. Hurst at home, no score against Kirkland Lake. Halfway through the first period, Cochran up on French River 2 to nothing. That one midway through the first period and 7.30 starts. We'll be keeping an eye on both these games, Rayside Belfour at Elliott Lake and Blind River at Espinola. We're going to take our first break here on the pregame show. We come back, we'll be rejoined by, or rejoined I should say, by Larry Pazabon and then we'll have the national anthems, the starting lineups, and the start of this border battle here at Polar Stadium. Crowd already building, always a fun matchup, best rivalry in sports here in the Twin Sioux. You're watching Sioux Eagles Hockey on Hockey TV and you're listening on ESPN 1400. Scott Nason back at Polar Stadium here on Hockey TV and ESPN 1400. We are joined by color commentator Larry Pazbon. And Paz, uh, during the first half of the pregame show, I made the comment that this, the biggest game in the Sioux Eagles season, 
to date, possibly all year long. What are your thoughts going into this border battle round uh, seven, eight? I'm not sure. I don't know. Yeah. What's your thoughts going into this well, game? Well, I'll tell you. Uh, good evening, everybody. Yeah, wow, this is this is an important game for both teams. We always talk during the year when you're playing in your own division, you're, you're, they're four-point games. This is really a four-point game. Right now, the Eagles have uh, 41 points. Uh, the, the Thunderbirds have 42. So win or lose, you're going to drop or you're going to run ahead, you know, and nobody wants really to end up in fourth because now you have to play the fifth-place team and anything can happen in a short series, be a two out of three. We've been there before as the Eagles, and we've been very fortunate on, on most occasions, but in that short st season, anything can happen. This one here tonight, well, we're, we want to see what team's going to show up for both the Eagles and the Thunderbirds because the Eagles, sometimes the right team doesn't show up. Sometimes for the Thunderbirds, the right team doesn't show up. So let's see tonight if we get both teams show up, and let's let hockey prevail in here tonight. And speaking of seeing, Larry, I did uh, make comment that we are seeing, at least for those on hockey TV, pictures that we haven't seen before. We upgraded from the Atari to the PlayStation 4, <laughs> And uh, the pictures are looking great. We can only hope that the audio improves about 90% as far as commentary like the video. Are you up for the challenge tonight, uh, oh, sir? I'm, I'm waiting for this. We've been waiting, what, two years? <laughs> We've been waiting a long time. <laughs> I'm from Missouri. i got to see it to believe it. <laughs> I was still doubting it, to be quite honest, <laughs> until it went on. So, again, if you want to say hello to us during the broadcast, we already did some hellos. You can tweet me at S, or excuse me, Scott Nason 3 the number 3. Looking at the lineups tonight, Larry, before we get to the starting lineups and national anthems, out of the lineup, for the Sioux Thunderbirds, number five, Stephen Pishneshti, number also number five, Connor Toms, number 20, Michael Chaffe, number 23, Ty Zachary, and goaltender number 99, Gavin DeSano. For the Sioux Eagles, players not dressed tonight include number seven, Stephen Smoody, number eight, Malik Ali, number 10, George Orfanos, number 14, Kyle Portlock, number 17, Chase Tolaire, number 25, Colby Guideback, and number 26, Jack Swan, starting in net for the Sioux Eagles tonight. Larry, number 29, Shane Brancato. And our first look at the Sioux Thunderbirds starting goaltender, number one, Sam Avola. And, Larry, we say it almost every time these teams lace the skates and go after each other. You just never know what's going to happen when you see a Thunderbirds-Eagles game. But you do know this. They're not going to like each other. No, no, they're not going to like each other. And you may have a nice game going all the way through until the third period. And then something happens by someone out there, and then it turns into a different game. I want to say hello to Daniel Clark and Mama Clark. Clark, excuse me, watching tonight. They like the HD. Already mentioned Steve-O and then. And I also want to say hello to Patty and Hawk, a.k.a. Donnie, Donnie. watching tonight <laughs> in Arizona. So we're about to go to the starting lineups from Bob St. Peter. Then we'll take a break and come back with the start of this border battle here at Polar Stadium. The final two games of a nine-game homestand. The Eagles will finally hit the road next weekend for a pair of games, and we'll be back here on Friday, January 31st against Espinola. We mentioned lots of games going on in the NLJHL tonight. There was a big one last night between Blind River and Rayside Balfour, and, well, again, David Bowen, the story. Rayside Balfour shuts out the... Blind River Beavers by the score of three to nothing. Where they As, play? Uh, that was at Rayside, and it was uh, Bowen says uh, thirty six uh, saves in that one. So he, they, he came back just in time. He does. He does what he does, Larry. Yeah, that's does that's, that's, that's does. for sure. So he is what he is. He is what he is indeed. So just waiting for the Sioux Eagles to come out on the ice. If you want to hear the podcast of this audio broadcast, you can do so by going to the website, thegamesportshow.com or thegamesportshow.podbean.com. On that same website, you can catch Monday's broadcast of our sports show, The Game. And uh, on Monday, we interviewed the assistant coach for the Sioux Eagles, J.T. Henke. It was his uh, first interview. It was nice to get to hear his perspective on things. And, well, it was, it was a good time had by all. You know, it's a good thing the Eagles are taking some time coming out because uh, the Zamboni driver put a little too much water on the ice, and you could see it from up here at center ice. There's a problem with water, and down behind uh, or beside uh, the Thunderbird goal, looks like there's a little too much water there also. And I see a few, few other spots around the ice, but... Uh, 
Yeah. Definitely. It looks like we might be having some audio issues here, Larry, so I'm not quite sure. It looks like audio is working as it was earlier, but somehow we're seem to be registering there. we got a couple of viewers saying that they can't hear us. I'm not quite sure what's going on with that. Well, he can't hear me. Well, that's, well, geez, that's, well, I don't well that's that. not good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I appear to be coming through on my own recording system, so I don't know what's going on. We're going to well, take I, a, hey, we could change mics. Uh, well, no, it, it should, it's coming through on the audio portion here. Go ahead, Larry, give us, uh, give us some, give us some feedback and some stuff while I try to fix my own okay, mic. Okay, uh, I'm just going to say, I was, lo- I was looking before the game. Oh, yes, before the game here, uh, D- Dennis Danny Luck, he's the skate sharpener, equipment manager uh, down for the Thund- uh, Eagles. Uh-huh. And he's uh, got his brother, John, visiting from Iron Mountain, Michigan. And oh. John picks us up on the radio, and he says he enjoys it very much. And we, we appreciate that, John. Yeah, we're loud, we're loud and clear. Excuse me, Larry. I cut you off there. We're loud and clear on the radio. I want to thank you. you okay, no? Uh, yeah, so it must be. Must no, you're be. shutting me up. <laughs> You, I just getting on a roll. You had your chance, Larry. <laughs> you had your chance. There's my five seconds of fame. Your five second of fame are over now, <laughs> okay, sir. Man. That's for sure. Thank you, Sam, for again we're t- testing out some new equipment here for the hockey TV broadcast. And well, there's going to be some growing pains as well. Not quite sure why they only hear you, but we're going to go to Bob St. Peter see if they can hear him, and then we'll go to break for our national anthems. Good evening, hockey fans, and welcome to the home of Hockey Town USA, Puller Stadium, and the home of Sioux Eagle Hockey. Tonight, your Sioux Eagles take on the Cross River Rivals, the Sioux Ontario Thunderbirds, with the starting lineup for the Thunderbirds. In goal, number one, Sam Evola. On defense, number 15, Tristan Cicciolo. On defense, number 27, Nolan Ford. At forward, number 8, Colton Hayes. At forward, number 17, Avery Rebeck. At forward, number 25, Mackenzie Walkington. The head coach for the Birds, John Paco, Parco. The assistant, Joey Miller, trainer, Dwayne Jones, and assistant, Dom Bunomo. And now, your starting lineup for your Sioux Eagles in goal, number 29, Shane Brancato. And on defense, number two, Cameron Parrott. On defense, number 19, Bryce French. At forward, number 24, Jake Lamberty. At forward, number 22, Bobby Perez. At forward, number 21, the captain of the Eagles, Dominic Scarella. The head coach for the Eagles, Doug LaProd. The assistant coaches, Bruno Blaganolo, JT Henke. We're going to take our final break here on the pregame show. When we come back, we'll have the start of this NLJHL border battle between the Sioux Eagles and the Sioux Thunderbirds. You are watching Sioux Eagles Hockey on Hockey TV, and you're listening on ESPN 1400. Scott Nason, Larry Pazabon, back to Polar Stadiums. We're just about ready to go here for our NLJHL contest between the Sioux Eagles and and the Sioux Thunderbirds, and looks like we have a ceremony going on, Larry, at Center Ice. What's going yeah, on? I don't know. This is the first I've seen there. For, uh, I haven't heard anything. I didn't get a pregame report. Well, why not? Because the guy next to me doesn't do it anymore. <laughs> we're, we're having He's enough. too busy doing a bunch of other things. We're having enough <laughs> issues right now as far as getting everything getting everything set here, Larry. We're Apparently we're having some audio issues on hockey TV. Hopefully, uh, maybe over the break we fix that. We're still good on the radio, Sam. If you can just give me a little thumbs up that uh, everything's still good on the radio. But, hey, it's going to be good on the video portion of hockey TV. Larry, again, we got our HD set up on. We appreciate all your patience at home waiting for it. And so here we go. We're just about set to go. All right, we're good on the radio, so hopefully we can get our audio good on the air. Right now, it's not good apparently. Well, it's better on here. I don't know. I'm just gonna I'm gonna announce the game and just heck. Yep. This this is me getting frustrated, Larry, tonight. Okay. That's for darn sure. So here we go. 
Eagles and Thunderbirds. Thunderbirds in their road orange jerseys. Eagles in their home white jerseys. And we're underway at Polar Stadium. All right, Patty says he can hear me now. So good, it must have worked. Here's Price with the puck for the Eagles. Good crowd here at Polar Stadium. Big tournament this weekend for the House League teams. Thank you, Patty and Hawk, for all the help with the audio. Now Price with it for the Eagles. Again, brand new wow, HD nice setup. Wow, nice bounce out in front. Yeah, really. I'm hoping you're enjoying the video. Taking a lot of hard work to get to this point. Here's Tuchella for the Thunderbirds. Puts it in front, taken away by Lamberty. Now Puck over in the far corner. French with it. French. Pass it up to Price. Now down there, there's a chance. Bombat, or rather, Scarella in. Shot and a save there by Avola, and he'll hold with 19-11 to play in the period. Oh, well. Can you hear me now, folks? <laughs> well, they can on the radio, so <laughs> okay. Larry, you may be radio only, so that might be, <laughs> maybe that's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, why you're only getting one channel on the mic. I guess we didn't test two headphones. There must be a problem there. Now here's the puck at the point, French. French with the shot, save by Avola. Puck on the near boards, Clark with it. Now we're going to have a penalty, and I think that's going to go on the Thunderbirds. High sticky. No, I'm not sure about that, well, Larry. What's, what's, that's going to go against the Eagles. Oh, he ended up on the ice. <laughs> so. so the Thunderbirds wow. will go on the power play one minute into this contest. Okay. Can you hear me now? No, I, just, <laughs> I know, I'm just, just teasing. Just talk. I just, I'm yeah, I just, so frustrated <laughs> right now, you don't even know. My, mine is low? Well, I oh, can't, yeah, I can't okay. turn it up anymore. No, that's fine. It's over that's fine. Face off, controlled by the Thunderbird. Shot blocked by the Eagles player. That was Smooty. Now on the near board, Savard with it. Eagles come up with it. Here's the penalty call. Joel Brandinger, two minutes, high sticking. So high sticking the call on Brandinger. Thunderbirds with the puck in their own zone. Kovacs. Kovacs gets it up ice to Clemens. Now Clemens lost the puck. As the Eagles will shoot it down the ice. That was Dresch. It's a shot on goal, too. Yep, minute 30 left on the power play. Now down the ice. Brancato will stop it behind his own net. Brancato over to Harris, who will fire it down the ice. Another shot on goal. Shots right now 4 0 in favor of there the Eagles. Is, there's five. Yeah, they finally put it up a little slow on the, on the clock there. Thunderbirds with the puck. Shooting into the zone. Now over the far board, Savard. Kovacs gets it to Clemens. Now back to the point just out of the reach of the Thunderbirds defenseman. So the Thunderbirds not getting anything set up here as of yet. Puck in the Eagles in the Thunderbirds zone. Over the far boards, Rebic. Rebic with the puck. Now the Thunderbirds. Cicello. Cicello behind his own net. Now at the blue line, Cicello fires it in off the end boards. Picked up by Harris, and he will not. He will clear the zone as Ford has it at center ice. 30 seconds left on the power play. Hayes gets it to Walkington. Bullware over to Ford. Now Fords lose the puck. Ali has it at center ice, and he'll shoot it into the Thunderbird zone. 15 seconds left on the power play. So the Thunderbirds yet to have a shot on net here, and it looks like they're not going to get one on this power play either. Ticello at center ice, now across the blue line. Ticello with it, looking for someone in front. That one hits a player behind the net. Parrott, so the Eagles do a great job killing off that penalty. Yeah, they never even got a shot on goal, the uh, Thunderbirds. Broom with the puck. He loses it, picked up by the Eagles in their own zone. Branninger will chip that into the zone. Vola. Can't clear it. Now Branninger has it. Branninger puts a shot on. A will hold and make the save. 16-35 to play in the first period. Shots 5-0. Eagles, no score. I got to look at... Uh, okay. Want to say hello to Steve Harris watching along with his wife and daughter watching Tucker Harris for the Sioux Eagles. Want to say hello to Kayla Parrott and the Parrott family along with Steve-O, Daniel Clark, Lamberties cast of thousands and again enjoying the pictures and hopefully the audio is a little uh, more sorted now puck along the far boards Thunderbirds trying to clear the zone they do now picking up McLaughlin he chips it into the zone Dax along the end boards 
I'll say hello to the Dax family watching as well tonight. Now here's a chance for the Eagles in front. Dax with a shot right under a volley. I don't think he knew where it was, but he'll make the save. What are you doing with my stuff, Larry? Oh, I missed him. No, oh, okay. In there. Malik Ali in. We had him as a scratch. 16.03 to play in this first period. No score. We'll be here tomorrow night as well. 6.45 pregame show as the Eagles will take on the LA Lake Wildcats. Now the Eagles win the faceoff. Clark at the point. His shot. Avola will make the save and hold. It wasn't a shot on goal, so it shouldn't be a shot. Uh, but they've taken away the zero up there for the Thunderbird shots. So I don't think they have any. Or at least I didn't remember seeing any. Eagles control the face off along the far boards. Pair 21's over there. Skrell on that one will go out of play. Larry, uh, other games in the NLJHL tonight. We have lots of other games in the NLJHL. We'll get to that here in a moment. Dramatic pause while my, yeah, no, I was while just, my score I was just, sheet. I was just watching. I thought they were calling a face off outside, but they did, said, no, it's inside the rink, uh, inside the zone. Rayside Belfort already, already up 2 0 on Elliott Lake. That one early in the first period. Blind River also leading by the score of 2 0. That one early in the first period against Espanola. So the first and second place teams having no problems so far tonight as we have a high stick in the Thunderbird zone. That'll bring the face off inside with 15 37 left here in the period. You can't say the Thunderbirds have uh, bus legs because they only have to cross the bridge yeah. two miles. Yeah, not not exactly. Oh, we got a penalty, Larry. What's What happened there? Savard's in the box. So we'll get the call from Bob St. Peter. It'll be a power play opportunity for the Eagles. Penalty to number 26, Tyler Savard. Two minutes, roughing. The time of the penalty, 15-37. So roughing the call on Savard. Eagles on the power play. Now Branninger gets it back to the point. Clark. Clark moves it over to Scarella. Scarella over to Vanderhoff. Now Vanderhoff with the shot. Easy save there by Avola. Puck on the end boards. Now Vanderhoff has it. Vanderhoff, the newest Sioux Eagle, coming over from Elliott Lake last week. Scored a goal last weekend. Clark moves it over to Scarella. He falls down. Scarella trying to get back up. Branninger moves in. Minute 20 left on the power play. Now back to the point. Clark. Clark. Slides over to Vanderhoff. Now Vanderhoff in with a shot. Save. Rebound. Scarella couldn't get it. Now here's Schmiel with it. Schmiel gets around Clark. Schmiel now over the far side board. He's just going to reverse course. Smart play there, I think, Larry. Killing time, yeah. Kill more time. Now here's Ford. He'll fire it in. Brand Cottle will see if that is the first shot registered for the Thunderbirds. Don't no, think it wasn't. So. It was off net. So uh, Eagles are getting organized now behind. Here they come. 50 seconds left on the power play. Dresch with it at center ice. Just out of the reach of Vaca. Eagles with it. Thunderbird zone, Wood. Wood along the Ambers now taken away by the Thunderbirds, and they'll flip it down the ice. That'll go wide, so again, no shot on goal. Walkington on Brancato. Brancato's got to be careful there. Yeah, he's, he scares me when he plays the puck out of the net. Price. Behind his own net. Now Dresch has it. Back to Price. 15 seconds left on the power play. Rink wide pass to Wood across the blue line. Wood with the shot. That deflects and goes wide. Vaco with it over in the far corner. Now Wood picks it up. Wood lost the puck. Thunderbirds with it over in the far corner. That's pretty much going to do it for the power play. And now we're going to have a penalty. I think this is going to be an oh, offside? A hand pass. Hand pass. Okay, so two seconds left on the penalty to Savard for the Thunderbirds. I saw him grab the puck with his hand, but I didn't think he passed it out. I thought somebody else hit it out. Well, with this new video back home, people could tell us. They sure can. <laughs> They're going to keep us on our toes. <laughs> really? Face-off control by the Eagles. Thunderbirds back to full strength. Now on the end boards, Dollywall has it. Dax wanted it, but he flips it over the far side boards. Eagles with good start here in this one. A lot more energy than we saw last weekend against Rayside. Now the Thunderbirds with it. That's Clemens. Puts it in front. Taken away by Bullware. Now at center ice. Young flips it in. Bullware at center ice. Poke checked away by the Thunderbirds. Now here's Ford. Or rather Young in his own zone. Young. Pass over to Santa Maria. That's going to be wide pass. We'll have an icing call with 12.57 to play here in this first period. Shots 8-0 Eagles. 
Eight nothing. Still have that's, no score. That's wild. Yeah, and if you want to say hello on Twitter, watching tonight, we welcome not just Sioux Eagles fans, but Sioux Thunderbirds fans. You can tweet me at Scott Nason three. That's S C O T T N A S O N and the number three. Always like to hear from the fan base. Now puck over the far bars taken away by Vanderhoff. That one will deflect and go into the netting. Want to say hello to the Bice family watching in. That faceoff will stay inside the zone for, on the Thunderbirds. Tommy's uh, Tommy Bice's sister is competing gymnastics for Western Michigan University. I believe at Northern Illinois. When not competing, she's watching Sioux Eagles hockey on hockey TV, and she likes the HD. Everybody, everybody's liking yeah. the HD, Larry. All right. We kind of figured it would be that case. Now the Eagles with the puck off the faceoff. Brandinger oh, shot nice. deflected in front, saved there by Avola. And again, Larry, 9-0 uh, the shots. Eagles must like how this one's starting off so far. Brandinger was right there looking for a rebound. He was right there fighting for that puck. Avola came up strong. Face off to the left of Avola. Thunderbirds win the face off. Ford with it. Now Ford will play that one off the bench. A lot of whistles here in this first period, yeah, Larry. And a lot of them staying in the Thunderbird zone, too. Coming up in the second period, Larry, our uh, favorite game that we like to play. It's called Guess the Attendance. I believe it's your turn to put up a guess. I think so. After, uh, what, I took a two-game lead last weekend, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, you had a three-game lead at Maybe one Maybe three. Point. It could be three. Uh, you're up to one now. Okay. What is the what is the total? Nine eight. Nine eight. Okay. For the announcer. Yes, yes. <laughs> the one that I think people can hear back at home. <laughs> I don't know. Now here's the Eagles with it. Lamberty gets it up to Price across the blue line. Now Price trying to get around Cicello. He does try to get it to Lamberty in front. Now a chance, a shot saved there by Avola. Scrello puts it in front. Lamberty tries to get his stick on the puck. Now Lamberty along the near boards as the Thunderbirds will clear. Clark with the puck at his own blue line. We played eight minutes of this first period, still scoreless. He goes across the blue line. Lamberty slides it over for Skrella. That one deflects, goes behind him. Ford picks it up. He'll clear it to center. Here's Josephson. Cross the blue line for the Thunderbirds. Still looking for their first shot. They put it in front. Price picks it up. Now Price gets it up to Skrella. Skrella rink wide pass to Parrott. Parrott now loses his stick. Still trying to get that puck picked up there by Broom. Jordan Broom, one of the newest Sioux Thunderbirds players with the puck. He'll hit his own player at the blue line. That's Clemens. Now Clemens at the center circle. Drops it back for Bucha. Now here's Santa Maria with it. Over to Clemens. Back to Santa Maria in the near corner. Now Santa Maria avoids the hit by Parrott. Vaca picks it up. Vaca for the Eagles across he tries to get it across his blue line. Now he'll pass it rink wide to Parrott. Parrott looking up ice. Nice pass right to the stick of wood across the blue line. Hit shot. Missed the net. Rebound. Evola. That goes behind it. Eagles still have the puck. That's Bumbacco. He puts it up to Bowler. His shot. That deflects and goes wide. Over to Broom. Broom with the puck. Over to Santa Maria. Eagles controlling the play, but again, yet to get a goal here. I want to get one in here soon. Thunderbirds be happy to come out of this period. Well, it's still 10 38 to go, but uh, they can't get it. That's going to be a hand pass on Wood, and so that'll bring the face off outside the zone. 10 34 to play in this first period, Larry. Good start for the Eagles, but we have no score. No score, yeah, good start, but they got to get up on the scoreboard to make it even a better start. Well, you, Line changes by both teams right here now. And talking to assistant coach JT Hankey on the, on the game Monday night, he said, you know, coming out of the gate Friday night, Last week, they didn't want to have a repeat of that. You kind of knew that they wouldn't. You figure it was one of those games, Larry, where nobody played especially well for the Eagles. Not the case tonight. They have a lot of energy, as they should. Now here's a chance for the There's Thunderbirds. It. There's yeah. their first shot. That's going to be a save there. That was, I believe, Santa Maria. When I checked that, that's uh, Hayes with the chance, and Brancato makes the save. Quick change right here by the Eagles. Full five guys coming on. 10-17 to play in this first period. No score. Shots 9-1 in favor of the home team. Now Young with it. His shot hits a player in front. That's Clark. Clark will flip that one down the ice. I wonder if that's going to count as a shot because it was close to being on the net. Now the Eagles intercept behind the net. On the near boards. Hayes with it. Thunderbirds trying to clear it. They do. They get it to the center circle. Here's Rebic. Rebic across the blue line. Rebic with the shot. Brancato will make the save, and 
We could have immediate timeout here. Larry, we will. 9.51 to play in this first period. We're still scoreless. Yep, media time. Give us a chance to look at the scoreboard. Uh, early second period up in Hurst. It's Kirkland Lake and Hurst tied at one. Early second period in Cochran. The Crunch leading French River by a 3 nothing count. 3 nothing at Rayside Belfour over Elliott Lake. That one halfway through the first period. And Blind River putting it to Espinola so far. 4-1. to one. That one early, or I should say, late in the first period, so not good scores for the Eagles and Thunderbirds. They both want Rayside and Blind River to lose. Right, yeah, Blind River's going to be bad. They got shut out and lost last night. They're, they're going to take it out on Espinola. Sue so Greyhounds in action tonight, Larry, at the Memorial Gardens, taking on Saginaw the Spirit. Saginaw Spirit, who loaded up on the trade deadline for sure. And Well, we'll see what team the Greyhounds put out tonight. Right eh? now it's 1-1, so <laughs> okay. we, we, we got the, the, the consistent team, which yeah. we haven't seen much. We got the 50-50 team. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. Face off to the left of Brancato. 9.50 to play in this first period. Still scoreless. Eagles with the puck. Lamberty plays it off the boards. That'll go to center ice. Now in their own zone. Thunderbirds with the puck. On the near side boards. That's Cicello. Now Cicello skates it across his own blue line. He'll shoot it into the Eagles zone. Goes behind Brancato. Parrott picks it up for the Eagles. Chips it over, taken away by Clemens. Now Clemens along the end boards for the Thunderbirds. Clemens still has the puck. Clemens gets it back to the point. Cicello, Cicello waits, puts a shot. Stopped in front. Now a chance for the Thunderbirds. That one will go to the side. Now Scarella will clear the zone for the Eagles. Lamberty across the Thunderbirds blue line. He shoots it into the zone. Vola will stop it behind the net. Lamberty will break that up. Now Price with it. Price back to the point. Bullware, his shot hits a player, goes wide. Now Ford bumps Lamberty on the far boards. Here's Price with it. Price tried to get it to Lamberty, but the pass a little behind him. Chichello a little flip pass to try to clear the zone. That didn't work. Ooh. Now Chichello over to Ford. Savard, now the Thunderbirds with yeah. it across their own blue line. Kovacs, Kovacs pass to Washington, and that's going to be offside. We'll have a faceoff outside the Eagles' blue line. Oh, one of the... Thunderbird players is squawking at the linesman about the offside, I think. That was Cicello. Well, we've seen that happen a, a couple times this year, Larry, here at Puller Stadium. <laughs> <laughs> Once or twice. Maybe I'm a little off in my estimate. but Once or twice in a minute sometimes. <laughs> yeah, really. Now Wood clears it into the Thunderbird zone. Puck over along the far boards. 9-2 shots in favor of the Eagles. Both teams have had a power play opportunity. Thunderbirds with the puck in their own zone. Broom with it. Broom. Rink wide pass. Now at the center ice. That one will go back into the Thunderbirds zone. Picked up by Bucha. Now Bucha to Broom. Broom at center ice with the puck. Shooting into the zone. Brancato stops it behind his own net. Bullware. Over to Wood. Wood and Bullware. Three Thunderbirds over there. Now four. Puck still along the boards, taken away by Wood. Wood in front of his own net. Now he'll skate behind it. Plays it off the far boards. Goes right to Bambaco. Bambaco at center ice. Nice move. Bambaco still has it. Bambaco with a shot. Blocker saved there by Avola, and he'll hold with 7.34 to play here in this first period. Still scoreless. Scoreless 10 2 shots for Eagles. Line changes by both teams right here now. The action is fast. But uh, for a while there, just uh, Thunderbirds couldn't get out of their own zone. Yeah. Face off to the right of Avola. Thunderbirds win the face off. Young gets it up to Rogers. Now here's Savard with it. Savard fires it off the far boards. Dresch. Now Ali. Dresch with the puck. Over to Clark. Now Clark. Rink wide pass off the boards to Dresch. Dresch skates at the center. He'll flip it into the Thunderbird zone. Ali will chase for the Eagles. He gets hit by Young, but Young ends up falling down. Here's a chance for Ali, a backhand shadow. He roofed it, goes over the net. I think it deflected off of somebody's stick in front. Here's Santa Maria. He falls down. Chance for the Eagles. That's Vanderhoff. Young with it behind his net. Thunderbirds not off to a good start here, but they'll take the 0-0 score at this point. Now across the blue line, here's Young in the slot. Lost the puck. 
Picked up by Savard. Now he'll cycle it behind the net over to the far corner, Dresch. 6.30 to play in this first period. Still scoreless. Good crowd here at Polar Stadium on this Friday night. Clark, he'll backhand the puck back in the Thunderbird zone. Playing off the board, just out of the reach of Vanderhoff. Now here come the Thunderbirds with it. Walkington over to Hayes. Hayes across the blue line with a shot. Brancato save. Rebound, it fumbled it, but he gets it back and yeah, he'll that hold. Was, that was a little scary there from, from this angle anyways. Well, he hasn't seen a whole lot of pucks so far, Larry. And yeah, it's, it's hard a to rusty stay, on that yeah, one. It's hard to stay uh, in the game when you're not getting tested. Look at it, 6.14 left to go in the period. If you only had, that was his third shot. It's like when I don't let you talk, Larry, sometimes <laughs> it's hard to get back. No one can hear you anymore. <laughs> Gave you that five minutes and it's over. <laughs> Dolly while with the puck at his own blue line. Taken by Cicello. Now Cicello gets it to Walkington across the blue line. Walkington with the puck. Over to Hayes. Now Walkington will play that off the boards. Over in the far corner, Rebic. Shots 11-3 Eagles here in this first period. They've been the better side so far. Puck still in the Eagles zone. Parrott trying to clear the zone. He does. Picked up by Cicello at his own blue line. Now Cicello on the near side boards. Hayes, Price, he'll backhand the puck back in the Thunderbird zone. Picked up by Ford across the blue line. Ford in the slot, lost the puck. Taken away by Price for the Eagles. Now Scarella. Nice pass to the stick of Dollywall across oh. the blue line. Dollywall with it. Dollywall with a shot. Sticked aside by Avola. Goes back behind the net to Kovacs. Now Kovacs. Puck hits the referee. On the far boards in front of the Thunderbirds bench. Usually you see three coaches behind the Thunderbirds bench. Tonight you see two. Now Puck back in the Eagles zone. Bullware. He knocks the Thunderbirds player off the puck. Now behind the net. Harris with it. Under five minutes to play in this first period. Now a bad pass. Taken away by Clemens. Backhand shot. Save. Rebound. Oh, good job there by Harris to get that out of harm's way. There are a couple of Thunderbirds ready to pounce on that one. Here come the Eagles with it. Scrella across the blue line of the Thunderbirds. Now the Eagles will go for a line change. Yeah, Scrella dumped it in. He's going to the bench. Puck behind the net. Taken by Savard in his own blue line. Now here's Kovacs. Kovacs will retreat in his own zone. Passes over to Broom. Now Broom lost the puck. Vacant Lamberty on him. Now Lamberty will skate to the puck. He's got a player wide open in front, but he didn't see him. Goes over to the far boards. That's Vanderhoff who was open momentarily. Now the Thunderbirds with it. Really, really on their heels oh. as the referee took he a little tumble down. there. Now Lamberty in the slot. Plays it off the far boards. Picked up by Bucha. Now Bucha at his own blue line. You said it, Larry. I think the Thunderbirds right now will take a 0-0 tie after one oh, to the yeah. bank. The way this one started. Boy, guys are going flying here. There's a big hit there along the far boards by Dresch. Clean hit. Eagles have it. Flip past the Wood across the blue line. Wood with it. Wood with the shot. Oh, Ooh. didn't miss by much. That one went just high. Now Dresch keeps it in. His shot. That goes into the Thunderbirds bench. And we'll have a faceoff with 340 to play here in the first period. Good start for the Eagles, but we still have no score. Yeah, they haven't been able to put the, the nail on the coffin and close it down in there. Getting a few goals by Evola. Shots 11-4, I believe he just said, and, and uh, 340 left. It's a good game. Low scoring, <laughs> but a good game. Girls High School basketball over on 1230 WSOO locally with Dave Watson, Suhai leading Sheboygan 31-9. Look at this. Come on. Let's drop the puck. Face off outside the Thunderbirds blue line. Won by the T-Birds. Coming up in the post-game radio only, Paz's corner. Larry Pazvon will give us his thoughts and opinions unfiltered. It's like uh, when MTV used to have unplugged. If they well, can hear me. <laughs> well, they, they can hear you on the radio, Larry, okay. and that's where you'll be for Paz's corner. You can also hear it on the podcast for those on hockey TV. You don't want to miss it. It's, uh, it's good therapy for my <laughs> older and much wiser friend to my left. No icing, they waved that off. Now oh here's boy. Schmiel with it, he fans on the shot. Puck still in the Eagles zone. Josephson plays that off the boards. Now Savard, he's going to be a cross check on French. And okay. so the Eagles will be shorthanded with 3-0-1 to play here in this first period. Yeah, they're, they're, Coach Alex Saruk, uh, he's, he's letting them know. Not liking that one. Oh, Doug yeah. the Prod being a little quiet behind the bench after a couple yeah. weeks ago. And what happened? Uh, <laughs> Suspension with a fine. 
I wasn't going to go there, well, but <laughs> it's, it's common knowledge. <laughs> it's, it's, it's on the NOJHL website, so I guess. So we'll get the call from Bob St. Peter on the penalty. As the Eagles will shoot that one down the ice. Well, we're going to see now the officials are going to call all those penalties. Eagle number 19, Bryce French, two minutes, cross-checking. So cross-checking the call on French. Thunderbirds on the power play. Here's Walkington over to Hayes. Hayes with a shot. Right pad saved there by Brancato. Puck along the end board. Now Thunderbirds, that's their first shot on their power play opportunities tonight. Rebek in the slot. His shot saved. Brancato rebound. Oh, big another save. save Brancato. Big save. Couple big saves there by Shane. Now Trichello at the blue line. Nice there we go. There by Lamberty. Lamberty now. He's looking for somebody to help Moat. Lamberty with the puck. Smartly just kind of backhands it in. I like that play. Thunderbirds with the puck in their own zone. Minute 10 left on the power play. Rebic across the blue line now. Stood up by Ali. Now here's Cicello on the slot. Got a player open in front, but he lost the puck, and Ali does a good job to clear the zone. Cicello tried that toe drag with the puck, but it didn't get by. Two minutes left in the first period. Minute left on the T-Birds power play. Now here's Ali shorthanded. Trying to get it to Dollywell. Now he loses the puck. Savard in front of his own bench. With the puck, now he loses it. Here's Ali in the slot. And a shot, not much of one, but Avola will make the save. And boy, Thunderbirds having all sorts of trouble, Larry, on their power play tonight. Yeah, they, they had a couple of opportunities down there, but uh, Brancato came up strong. Again, they're, they're not even able to finish it off, but they've only, they've only well, seven shots. They're starting to catch up on the shot clock with the Eagles, 12-7. They have 43 seconds left in this power play. Face off to the right of Avola. Thunderbirds win the face off. Clemens with it. Now he'll clear it to center. Savard. Poke checked away. Again, Eagles doing a good job just kind of poke checking that puck away from the Thunderbirds. Bambaco with it. A shot. Save. Rebound. Avola holds as Lamberty was right there. And boy, this short handed unit for the Eagles tonight doing a darn good job. Good penalty killing, right? Yeah. Well, they got two small guys out in front, and those two Lambert. Lamberti and Bumbaco, they don't stop skating. Face off to the left of Avola. Bumbaco will take the draw for the Eagles. Bumbaco wins that face yep. off too. That puck goes back to the Eagles blue line. Clark with it. He'll slide it over to Dresch, and Dresch will just fire it down. 15 seconds left on the power play. Scoreless here at Polar Stadium. Minute 10 left here in the first period. Rink wide pass to Clemens. Clemens with the puck. Five seconds left on the power play. Now at the blue line, Parsons. Parsons to Clemens. Clemens moves in, drops it down low. Chance in front of shot. Oh, big oh. save, Brancato. He did. Thought Unreal. That, thought that puck was going oh, I in. I thought it was in also. Wow. Brancato makes his biggest save of the night. He's had made a lot here as, as of late. That shot goes wide over to the far boards. Now down low. Clemens with it. Clemens. On the end boards. Clemens over to Hayes. Now Kovacs with it. Kovacs, 40 seconds left in the period. In the slot, a shot hits a player in front. Rebound. Eagles trying to get it out of their zone, and they do. And a chance Here's for it, Wood. Mr. Wood, he's good sometimes Wood to Babacco. on this situation. Wood to Babacco, a shot. Oh, that just missed the short side. Puck goes along the far boards, picked up by the Thunderbirds. Parsons gets it to Savard. 20 seconds left. Now Savard gets knocked down there by Parrott. Nice hit by him. Here's Price with it at his own blue line. 15 seconds. Price across the blue line with some speed. A shot. Save. Rebound. Puck loose in the slot. Picked up by the Thunderbirds. Five seconds. They just want to get this period over with. And we will have a scoreless first period. Good first period by the Eagles. The Thunderbirds with a pretty good response in the late portions of the period. Shots 14-8 in favor of the home team. But we are scoreless after one here at Polar Stadium. We're going to take a break on... Hockey TV and ESPN 1400. When we come back, we'll have the first intermission. Get our score. We don't have any. Zero to zero. You're watching Sue Eagles Hockey on Hockey TV, and you're listening on ESPN 1400. Scott Nason back at Puller Stadium here in our first intermission. Shots in that first period, 14-8 in favor of the Sioux Eagles, but we have no score after one period of play at Puller Stadium. Good period for the Eagles. They outshot the Thunderbirds 9-0 to start. But Shane Brancato made some key saves late, including a beauty as one of the power plays expired. So you would expect nothing less between these two teams. A close game, and we have one here at the Puller. Other scores in the NOJHL. Rayside Belfour after one period of play, leading at Elliott Lake by a 4-0 count. Blind River after one, leading Espinola 4-1. 
2-2 tie between Kirkland Lake and Hurst late in the second period. The Cochrane Crunch midway through the second period leading the French River Rapids by the score of 5-3 over on 12:30 WSOL with Dave Watson. Suhai Blue Devil girls team leading Sheboygan at last check by the score of 31-9. And over on Rock 101 with Jerry Liscomb Jr., it's a 1-1 tie between the Saginaw Spirit and the Sioux Greyhounds. The Lake Superior State University Lakers not in action this weekend. They finally have a bye week, and we'll try to get a Sioux High High School hockey score update coming up here in a moment. We're going to take our final break here in the first intermission. When I come back, we'll be rejoined by Larry Pazabon. We'll have the start of the second period of play here at Polar Stadium. Again, our score, the Sioux Eagles nothing, the Sioux Thunderbirds nothing. You are watching Sioux Eagles Hockey on Hockey TV, and you're listening on ESPN 1400. Scott Nason and Larry Pazabon back at Polar Stadium here on Hockey TV and ESPN 1400. Our score after one period of play, no score. And, uh, well, Larry, a uh, good start for the Seagulls. I think a good period overall, but the Thunderbirds came on uh, towards the end of that first. Your thoughts on how things have transpired so far? Well, I, I, liked, what was, I liked what was going on. It's just I didn't like the finishing. The Eagles couldn't finish. They couldn't score a goal. Uh, they, they moved the puck well. Uh, Brancato, when needed to, he came up strong. He made some. I thought the Eagles were going to come out of that period down to score. But Brancato played. Eagles played well. Brancato played even better. And uh, Thunderbirds, maybe maybe now they got their legs back. But uh, hopefully the Eagles can get the first one and then stay ahead all the time for the rest of the game. Larry, it looks like we got our little audio issue figured out. We were having trouble hearing me for a while, you for a while. Uh, those on Twitter, uh, Patty, if you could let us know if you can hear us both fine now, we would definitely appreciate it. Anybody else on Twitter, Scott Nason 3, please. We got other issues sorted. Well, not our issues. That would take a long time to get all our <laughs> issues yeah. sorted out, but yeah. audio issues. Indeed, back to action here. Thunderbirds with the puck over to the far point. Cicello in front. That goes off the skate of Rebek. Now Rebek puts it in front. Picked up by Scarella. Uh. Walkington with it. Shots 14-8 here in favor of the Eagles, but we still have no score. Now the Eagles across the blue line with it. Scarella off his skate. Price in the slot. Price with a shot. Goes to Scarella. Tries the wraparound attempt. But an Eagles player goes into the net. And that'll bring a face off. Keep it in the Thunderbird zone. No, I thought a penalty should have been called on that. Yeah. Didn't have the puck. That was a uh, parrot. And he gets knocked into the net. No call. After two periods of play at the Big Bear Arena, the Sioux High Blue Devil hockey team trailing 1-0 to the Lansing Capitals. We should have a final on that one before we have a final here. Face off to the left of Avola. And now we have some discussions as far as they're going to say the faceoff's going outside the zone. Well, he was knocked into the into the net by his own by the opposition by the Thunderbirds. Now Clark with it at the blue line, rather the red line. Va excuse me, Vanderhoff will shoot it in. Along the end boards, now Ali with it. Ali plays it on the near side, and that'll go out of play. And Larry, uh, between the first and second periods, we had one of the parents that we have not met uh, come up, and it was uh, Dana Vaca. Dana Vaca. Yeah, all the way up from Chicago, her first trip to Polar Stadium. It was nice to see the... The Vaca family here, so thanks for coming up, Dana. I think we you did a close-up of her, Larry, uh, before the second period. I, I did shoot in already. Yes, you did. Yep. Yes, you did. Good job. If they give me the camera, I can do it again. No, no, nah, nah, let's keep you on the mic here, <laughs> Larry. We, we got Rob Horn on the camera. Again, our brand-new HD camera. Hope you're enjoying it back at home. Now here's a chance for the Thunderbird shot, save, rebound. Puck loose in front, now picked up by Clemens. Clemens back to the point, Young. Young slides it over. Now a quick shot. That's blocked by Clark. Thunderbird's on the rebound. Here's a chance in front. Nice job by Dresch. That might have stopped a goal right there. Dresch with it. He's got a player. Oh, oh they could have just oh gotten boy. it to him. That was Vanderhoff. And uh, Rory Dax says, we both sound great. Thank you, uh, Rory, and the Dax family for watching tonight. So the little audio bugs, we worked through them, Larry. Take a picture of where those things are all set up. Yeah, <laughs> we're good. We're, we're good now. My anxiety level has uh, decreased quite a bit. I was getting a little anxious before the game. Now here's a chance for the Thunderbirds. Over in the near circle, now picked up by Vanderhoff. Vanderhoff for the Eagles across the blue line. Backhand pass, near side board. Brandinger, he'll fire it in. 
Two minutes gone by in this second period. Still scoreless as that will hit a player on the bench, Vaca. And then it'll bring the face off outside the zone. Yep, right on that one. We'll be okay. here tomorrow night, Larry. The Elliott Lake Wildcats come back to town as they'll take on the Sioux Eagles. 645 on Hockey TV and ESPN 1400. Face off outside the Thunderbirds blue line. Now we'll do it again. Busy hockey weekend here in the Twin Sioux. We have a big house league tournament. Cabin Fever. We saw a game before this one. We'll probably see some more before tomorrow night's games. And we'll see some of those young uh, men and young boys and girls here. Maybe for some Eagles game. Good crowd here tonight. You would expect that with these two teams. Now Finley puts it in the slot. That shot, that goes to the far corner. Schmiel puts it through. Now picked up by Harris. Puck still in the Eagles zone. Vaca with it. No, Vaca can't clear it. Kept it at the point. His shot hits a player in front. Now another chance. Shot hits another player in front. That was Bullware over to Bumbaco. Bumbaco can't clear it. Now the Eagles do. Vaca will chase it down. And that'll be picked up by the Thunderbirds. Bucha. Bucha with the puck. Slides it up to Schmiel. Now Schmiel across the blue line. Schmiel for the Thunderbirds. Flips it over to Santa Maria. Gloved down by Harris. Now Vaca with it. Up to Bumbaco. Bumbaco will shoot it into the Thunderbird zone. Avola will stop it behind the net. Now over to Santa Maria. Check that. That's Bucha. Bucha's pass just out of the reach of the Thunderbirds player. Now back in the Eagle zone. Thunderbirds with a chance. Cicello. Got to hit that one. Eh? Yeah, he lost the puck. Now the Eagles can't clear it. Now Wood will get it. He'll flip it to center. Chased by Bumbaco, but the Thunderbirds will win the race of the puck. That's offside. It's going to be offside. Eagles don't touch it, so the whistle doesn't blow. Now here's Cicello with it. Shooting it down the ice. Saved there by Vola. Over to Cicello. Now Bullware. Bullware fires it in. Cicello with the puck. Over to Dollywall. Now Ford in his own zone. Shots 14-10 Eagles here in this game. As the Eagles will keep the puck in the Thunderbird zone. Parrot now puts it behind the net. Picked up by Dax. Now Whoa, look out, Dax. Is. That's going to knock the net right into Avola. And that will certainly get a whistle to be blown with 15.52 to play here in this second period. No score. Yeah, there should be no penalty called on that one. There isn't. Uh, now we played uh, just almost uh, five minutes. And uh, two shots, and they're both by the Thunderbirds. Yeah. Because the first period ended 14-8 to eight in favor of the Eagles. Now it's 14-10, so five minutes. We only had two shots on goal. Maybe Could it's this period it's the Thunderbirds' turn to Could be. get all the shots on goal. They'll fix that net. I don't know if I've seen that happen here before, Larry. I, I haven't. Came no. off that direction. And the goalie, you just want to duck for cover. It's like an earthquake drill. Just kind of yeah. just kind of put your head, head, hands over your head. And, and go under the, the table. That's right. <laughs> we don't have those around here. I don't think we're on any fault lines, to my knowledge. Thunderbirds win the face off. Puck behind their own net. Parsons plays it on the near side. Now Young passes it to center ice. Picked up by Hayes, who will fire it in. Thunderbirds leading the season series between these two squads. They'll play one more time here and one more time, actually twice, over at the Rhodes. Ten regular season meetings between these two squads. Now here's French. He falls down along the end boards. Buck on the near side board. Scarella with it. Now Scarella gets it up to Parrott. Parrott to Lamberty. Lamberty across the blue line. Parrott going in the net, but that'll be offside. Well, the face off outside the blue line. Well, we have a moment, Larry. Let's update our scoreboard. Uh, after two periods of play up in Hearst, a 2 2 tie between Kirkland Lake and the Hearst Lumberjacks. 5 3 after two. Cochran over French River. 5 0 now. Rayside Balfour over Elliott Lake. And wow, Blind River putting it to Espinola halfway through the second period. 7 2. 7 Beavers. Yeah, like I said, they're, they're, they got shot out last night. They're going to take it to the next team they play. Yeah, they're happy David Bowen's not net for uh, <laughs> Espinola or in, in general. Now here's Vanderhoff across the blue line. He lost the puck. Kovacs has it. Gets it to the stick of Clemens across the blue line. Now Clemens in. Dresch knocks him down. No penalty. No, Clean there hit. shouldn't be a penalty on it. 
And that will be shot down Nicey. the ice. Well, I, I realize that, Larry, but I was still looking yeah, just okay. to see if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you never know. Yeah. What is a penalty and what is not as well. A face-off in the Eagle zone coming up on our... Oh, that's Me right, too. <laughs> media timeout. The Guess the Attendance Challenge. I'm up by one. You can play at home. Now with the HD, you should be able to count the attendance even better. It doesn't just look like fuzzy lines. It's actually going to look like people. Larry gets to put up the guess tonight. I will guess higher or lower. Those at home can help me. Now a shot that hits Clark in front. Goes back to the point. Here's Broom with it. With a shot. That hits another player in front. Thunderbirds still control the puck. Savard at the blue line. Savard. Now near circle, puts it in front. Clark swats that to the side. Thunderbirds with some pressure now. Eagles get it. Ali crosses his own blue line. Now it's center ice. He'll flip it into the T-Bird zone. Puck on the end boards. Thunderbirds with it. Now they'll clear the zone. That's Broom again at the center circle. Pass near side to Clemens. Clemens waits. Clemens with the move, but he doesn't get around Dresch. Now the Eagles have it. Dresch tries to get it to Ali. He does. Now Ali across the blue line. He's got a player open. If he can find him, it's oh, a Oh, what a save there. And a save there by Avola. That was Vanderhoff with the chance. Wasn't quite sure if Ali was going to get it in front of the net. He did. And Vanderhoff with probably the Eagles' best chance of the night there, Larry. Yeah, that was just, wow. Good, good setup. I mean, uh... Vanderhoff waited and waited and finally put that puck across. I think maybe uh, Ali was just a little too close, but it was a big, big save, though, anyways. Face off to the left of Avola. Now a chance in front of shot. Save rebound. Back and in. Oh! Oh! Back up. Back up. Back up. Pretty excited oh. over there, Larry. Yeah, put it on away. They came all the way There's from the family, Chicago yeah. to see the Eagles strike first. They lead by the score of one to nothing. With 13.48, Thanks, to play. thank you, Larry, getting all bossy over there. 13.48 to play in the second period. I guess, geez, it, it runs in the family, apparently. <laughs> Larry just kind of bossing everybody around. The Eagles will take it. That ball, that goal should go to Blake Vaca, and it's one nothing Eagles. Off the faceoff. That's just what the doctor ordered for the Sioux Eagles, who have been the better team so far. They were rewarded with the goal. Now what do we get? We're here? questioning the goal. What if they're saying there might have been a kicking motion? I'm not sure. So the officials having some discussions, Larry. It happened pretty fast. I wasn't quite sure. It looked like it went in, but no, again, he's saying no. This guy's shaking his head. He says, I don't know. Again, you had <laughs> shaking his head. You at home can rewind. You always use that feature <laughs> that, on yeah. hockey TV. There's that. Here comes the fourth guy. He's gonna put his two cent here. Well, the heads are all together. What do you think? I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, that's right. You can ask the goal judge. It'd be tough if they wave this one off, Larry, because they were pretty definitive that that was a goal, at least from the outset. But again, when you have four eyes out there with uh, stripes and orange uh, stripes and black and white stripes, they have. I'm going to correct you on that. They have four pair of eyes out there. Yeah, that's have, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah well, that's true. We, <laughs> Cyclops apparently isn't out there. <laughs> You're right. No, he's in the stand, Cyclops. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> there, here we go. Here well, we go. Oh, oh, oh. I don't I don't know. I don't like the look of this, Larry. They're having a lot of explaining to do. Oh yeah. And yeah, Skrell. Right. Oh, kicked they in. are saying the puck was kicked oh. in. So a tough one for the Eagles. And again, you on hockey TV can rewind and let us know what you think. Happened fast. We don't have the rewind ability. Yeah, and they never asked the gold judge. I don't even know why they have those. I guess they're just good seats. Why even have the gold judges anymore? They don't ever seem to get questioned. When's the last time you could think of a referee asking a gold judge about anything? I, here, I haven't Larry? seen them do it here in, in years. Why even have them? I mean, yeah. it's it's unless the reserved seats, I guess. I mean, that's the only thing I can think of. And here's the Thunderbirds with it off the face, off going to the net, a shot, save Brancato. Rebound goes to Price over at the far boards. Now Price is center ice. He gets knocked down. Scarella lose the puck. He gets knocked down after the fact. Coaches want a penalty there. Now it's starting to get physical, yeah, Larry. I said something's going I thought it was going to happen in the third period, but early in the second. Here's Schmiel with it in the slot. Schmiel now backhand shot. Doesn't get through. Goes to the far boards. Price with it. Now Price at the center circle. Off the boards to Scarella. Back to Price with the shot. Saved there 
by Evola. Rebound goes behind the net to Lamberty. Now here's Scarella. Over to Price. Puck still behind the net. Lamberti runs into Santa Maria. Puck along the near side in the post. Oh, flipped right through the crease. Scarella getting held up there by the doorstep. That shot gets hit. They're blocked in front. Rather, oh, Santa Maria gets knocked down, it. and that's yeah. going to be a penalty yeah. on the Eagles. Should have been offside there, I thought. Now here's a chance for the Thunderbirds. A shot. Oh, a save there, Brancato. Wild action going on right now. And finally, the puck will be touched by a Sioux Eagle, and that'll be a penalty against the home team with 12.40 to play Lamberti. in the second period, scoreless. Quite a couple minutes of action there, really? Larry. Yes, there was. Eagles thought they led one nothing, and the goal waved off due to the referees saying it was kicked. And now Thunderbirds will go on their third power play of the night. Or Jake Lamberty, two minutes tripping. So tripping the call on Lamberty. Again, want to thank those on Twitter that helped us with their audio issues tonight. Patty and a whole bunch of people tonight. Steve and Rory. Everyone, thank you. Thunderbirds on the power play. Young gets it at the point. Now Young with it. Over to Parsons. Parsons, edge of the near circle, dumps it down low. Thunderbirds with the puck. Parsons over to Young. Now in front of the Thunderbirds bench, that's Rebick. Rebick dumps it down to the near corner. Now a chance in front as Brent Cotto makes the save as Walkington in there. Now Parrott giving him the business right now. A few of these two Thunderbirds fans getting into the action. They always bring in some... <laughs> Yeah, Vocal fans. Yeah, they don't have far to travel to nope, come here and watch nope. this game. Well, a little different setting than what the Thunderbirds are used to at the John Rhodes, and no offense to the Rhodes, but I think pull are a little more ideal to watch a hockey game. I think that's pretty safe to say. Yeah. Thank you. Face off, won by the Eagles. Clark over to Dresch. Now Dresch knocks down Hayes. Buckle on the near boards. Rebick with it for the Thunderbirds. Minute 20 left on the power play. Now Rebick back to the point. Parsons. Parsons thought about the shot. Now still thinking. Shoots it. That's going to go off the stick of Dolly Wall. We'll keep the face off in the Eagles zone. Shots are now 18-11 in favor of the Eagles. So they picked up four. And uh, Thunderbirds have picked up uh, three. 11.53 to play in this second period. No score. Shots 18-11 in favor of the Eagles. Minute 13 left on the Thunderbirds' third power play. Face off to the right of Brancato, won by the T-Birds, Parsons at the blue line. On the backhand, now he'll slide over to Walkington. Walkington, down low to Hayes. Now Hayes, back to the point. Parsons, Parsons to Hayes. Hayes moves in. We'll flip along the end board, stick down by the Thunderbirds player. That's Parsons, slides it over. Young with it, Young. Trying to get it to Rebeck now Young at the far point. Young now still has it at the blue line. Over to Rebick. Now Clark has it. Plays it off the boards. Baron kind of will stop that one. Thunderbirds still have the puck. 40 seconds left on the power play. Parsons at the blue line. Now Parsons with it. Shot. Right and Brancato makes the save and he'll hold. Brancato saw that between the two players, a Thunderbird and an Eagle player. Be able to see that one. Line changes by both teams here now. 33 seconds left on the Thunderbirds power play. No score. Baca thought he had a goal a couple minutes ago, but the officials convened and ruled that that was kicked in. Now face off one by the Thunderbirds, back to the point. That's Cicello, taken away by French. Oh, the linesman, the linesman gets that in one. the way. Now Eagles get it right back. French like, I got to better not shoot it that way. Almost hit the linesman again. So he clears that one down the ice. 15 seconds left on the power play. Thunderbirds with it at center ice. Kovacs cross the blue line. Now Kovacs gets knocked down. The Eagles the the line stops again. it again. I mean, <laughs> whose team? Change your sweater. Oh, it's kind of hard. To, <laughs> sometimes hard to get out of the way of those, Larry. Uh, that one shot young guy like in. that. <laughs> now the Thunderbirds with the puck. Eagles back to even strength. There's shot save. save. Brancato rebound. Ooh. Puck loose in the slot. That one will go to the near boards. Clemens, and now we're gonna have a. Hand pass. That's going to bring the face off outside the zone with 10.25 to play in this second period. Still no score. And that call was made by the linesman who was getting in the way all the time. Good call. <laughs> <laughs> or 
are so harsh. <laughs> so hard on these guys. It's hard to jump out of the way of the buck. Is it not? Aren't you watching a game? Aren't they watching, watching the game? They're watching yeah, the game. Yeah, you're watching the game. Then if me. somebody's firing a puck at you, sometimes it, it, it's That wasn't of, even a firing well, puck. That, was a, that mean, was a floater. When you you're know? starting to get on these refs for getting, I mean, come on. Have you uh, no shame, Larry Possibon? <laughs> Face off. I guess I don't. <laughs> what about the Thunderbirds as they have it in the Eagles zone? I'm just tr pl trying to play devil's advocate a little yeah. bit here. Now Price has it across the red line. Lamberty to Price. Now Price over at the far boards. Nice pass to French. Another oh, nice what are you waiting shot. for? Save rebound. Oh. Easy there, Larry. <laughs> oh. He can't hear you. Now here's Scarello <laughs> on the end boards. Over to Lamberty. Lamberty now plays to the far side. Parrot. Parrot. Over to Scarella. Oh, that referee Scarella. got out of the way. Out of Price with a shot and a save by a vol. And we should get the media timeout with 9.47 to play in the second period. Shots 20 to 13 in favor of the Eagles, but we are scoreless. So, Larry, it's time to play our favorite game, our only game that we play, besides mind games that we play with each other. It's called <laughs> Guess the Attendance. Larry, it's your yeah, turn to put right a now. guess out there, and those on Twitter or those listening on ESPN 1400 can also play along. Um, so, Larry, I'm up one in the standings, and we got a good crowd here at Polar right, Stadium, yeah. as you would expect. Uh, any any thoughts, or do you need another minute? I could fill some yeah, time by looking you, at the scores. You do look at the scores. All I'm, right, I'm going to look I'm at the scores here. I'm working on a number here. here. I'm sure you are. After two periods of play in Hearst, two-two tie between Kirkland Lake and the Hearst Lumberjacks. Still five-three crunch. Cochran over French River early third period. Late second period, Elliott Lake trailing Blind River. At, or excuse me, Rayside Belfour at home five nothing. And late second period in Espanola, 7-2 Beavers over the Express. Sir Pazabon, do you have a guess tonight? 6-53. 6 Larry says there's 653 fans here at Polar Stadium. So those at home, you can play along. Tweet me at Scott Nason 3 That's the number three. And I think there's a few more people on this side of the ledger than the other side. That's a good guess, Larry. I'm going to have to think about that one for a while. Okay. Off the media timeout, face off in the Thunderbird zone. T-Birds win the face off. No score. 940 to play in this second period. Now Bullware, he'll shoot it back in the Thunderbird zone. Avola with the puck behind the net. Both goaltenders have made some big saves here in this contest. Over to Branninger. Branninger in the far corner for the Eagles. Slides it over the near side. Now picked up by Bucha. Bucha will clear the zone for the Thunderbirds. Now Harris got it for a moment. Josephson at center ice. Harris. We'll get the puck in his own zone. Over to Bullware. Now Bullware will retreat behind his own net. Now he'll go in front of the net, I should say. Bullware off the boards. That one down the ice. No icing. Stick to side by Avola. Now Boot Broom with it. Broom trying to clear the zone. Ali keeps it in. Picked up by Finlay. Thunderbirds with the puck. They'll flip it up to center ice. Schmiel. Trying to get around Bullware. Bullware win the race to the puck. Now Branninger over the near boards. Ali. Ali will clear the zone, and Young will chase it back into his own zone for the Thunderbirds. 8.35 to play in the second period. Still scoreless here at Puller Stadium. That one shot down the ice. Brancato will stop it behind the net. Over to Harris. Now Ali with it. Right to the stick of Vanderhoff. Bumbacco goes to the net. Bumbacco gets it a shot. Save there. And we're going to have a penalty on the Thunderbirds. Harris with it. That deflects oh, in front of a shot and a save there. Vanderhoff rebound in front. Ali trying to get a stick on it. And finally, the Thunderbirds will touch the puck. And the Eagles will go on the power play with 8-11 to play in this second period. Still no score. Second power play now attempt for the Eagles. I believe and, so. And Thunderbirds had two and never scored. So... Let's see if the Eagles can break the ice on that. I want to say hello to Jennifer Gilmore watching on Hockey TV, liking the video. I want to also say hello to Daniel Clark. Uh, Daniel says from video review, that was a good goal by wow. Vaca. So thank you, Mike. Also want to say hello to Smoothies watching in Roscoe, Illinois. Uh, we saw your son before the game. He was almost called into action for the camera. Luckily, well, not luckily, but Rob Horn came and rescued us. Penalty to number 24, Warner Young. Two minutes hooking. So hooking the call on Young. Eagles on their second power play. Looking to strike first here. Now that one flipped over to the far corner. 
Cicello has it behind his own net. He's going to wrap that hard off the boards. Hits his own player. Good bounce for the Thunderbirds. As they'll clear it to center. Now Rebick across the blue line. Rebick trying to get around Clark. Clark stands him up. Now Scarella to Vanderhoff. Vanderhoff at center ice. Across the blue line. Vanderhoff with the puck. He was looking to set up the power play. Minute 20 left on the extra man advantage. Branninger over in the near boards. Now Branninger trying to get loose. Lamberty picks it up. Lamberty behind the net. Over to Vanderhoff. Minute 10 left on the power play. Vander, Vanderhoff down low. Now we'll cycle it to the near side. Scarella. Scarella back to the point. Clark. Clark with the wrister. That hits Rebick. Over to Walkington. And the Thunderbirds will clear it down the ice. Thunderbirds make some changes. All four guys, fresh bodies out there. Seven minutes left in the second period. 50 seconds left on the Eagles power play. We're scoreless here at Puller Stadium. Scarella's pass. Behind the, there we now go. here's a chance for the Thunderbirds with it. Schmiel. Schmiel gets knocked down. That's the right thing to Clark. do. Don't go for the puck. Take the body. Now here come the Eagles with it. Vanderhoff across the blue line. Now Vanderhoff lost the puck as the Thunderbirds will clear that one down the ice. Both teams struggling a bit on the power play so far. This is the Eagles' second attempt. 20 seconds left on the power play. Shots 22 13 in favor of the Eagles. We're still scoreless. Wood across the blue line. He'll play it off the end boards. Over to Vaca. Vaca with the puck. Vaca still has it in the slot. Now pass over to Price. Back to Drash. Penalty about to expire. Now a shot by French. Saved by Avola. Rebound goes to French. As Young comes out of the box for the Thunderbirds. French has it at the blue line. Another shot. Look out. That will deflect off the Thunderbirds player out of play. Well, the well, face off with 6.04 to play here in the second period. No, here, this is. How do you call that inside? The, the Eagle player shoots it, goes off the Thunderbird player. Okay, it's off the Thunderbird player. It's inside, right? It's at their zone. I, I was thinking the Eagle in front of it. went into the Eagle's bench. All Larry, right. I'm going to go higher on your guess higher? there tonight. I got, I got some help from a, a couple of our fans, and they're both saying higher, so I'm going with it. Okay. Face-off control by the Eagles. That shot deflects wide. It won't be by much. No, well, that's a good guess. That's a real good guess. Could tie it up with a victory tonight. Now Clark at the blue line for the Eagles. Clark with the shot. That hits the side of the net. Goes over to the far corner. McLaughlin with it. McLaughlin. Now the Thunderbirds. Clear the zone. Dax at center circle. And we're going to have a... He's calling offside. Offside. Never, no, it was on the blue line. Never left the, never left the, uh, the inside. After two periods of play over at the Memorial Garden, Sioux Greyhounds and Saginaw Spirit tied at one. Still 1-1 one, one there. We have a final in girls basketball. Sioux High with a 61-31 win over Sheboygan. Thanks to Dave Watson for the updates on that one. Sioux High hockey losing 1-0 in the third period at last check at the Big Bear Arena. Puck back in the Thunderbird zone. Cicello with it. Eagles out shooting the T-Birds by 10 here in this contest. But no score where it counts. Now Kovacs cross the blue line for the Thunderbirds. He falls down over the far corner. Dresch. Thunderbirds now trying to get some pressure in the Eagles zone. Those have had the better chances so far in this one. At least more chances. Well, now here's Scarella. It's going to be offside. I thought so too. <laughs> face off outside the blue line. So did the whole Thunderbird bench. I want to say hello to the Timmins Rock a Twitter feed. Uh, like in the HD. They, unfortunately, we didn't have it when they were here. But, again, meet, meet you in the finals, Timmins. How about that? That let's, sounds let's, good, let's yeah. Let's do that. So, thank you, uh, Timmins. Uh, <laughs> I still say that's the best team in the league right now. Don't mess with the Rock. If you smell what I'm cooking, Larry. Yeah. Now, here's French with the puck behind the Eagles net. Parrott in his own zone. Flipping it to center. Branninger. Gets it to Vanderhoff. Now Vanderhoff with the shot. Save, rebound, loose. And Avola will cover it up and hold. 4.50 to play in this second period. Detroit Red Wings leading Pittsburgh 1-0. That one that's a, that's second a, period. That's a surprise, isn't it? Yeah, a little well, the Wings have won a couple games here. Uh, one of the... Uh, coaches that got fired, Gerard Gallant got fired for the Vegas Golden Knights and uh, I will predict that he will be the next Detroit Red Wings coach. Oh, you think so? Yeah, he played with Eisman well, yeah, and he's a yeah, buddy of yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And no offense to the guy coaching now, but not working out too well. No. As you can see. Now here's a chance for the Thunderbirds. Hayes, that poke checked away. 
Ali and Hayes, a pair of eights in the near corner. Now Rebic picks it up. Rebic in front, a shot, and that one goes high. Rebic gets the rebound. Now in front, Hayes. Chance again, a shot. Save Brancato. Thunderbirds now with some pressure. Goes back to the point. Young with it. Shot. Save Brancato again, and he'll hold with 4.20 to play in this second period. I'm not sure if Brancato saw that one. I think it hit him, and then he grabbed the rebound because uh, a lot of traffic, a lot of low, sh and it was a low shot. Action picking up here, Larry, in this one. Been a, a rather tame affair, I guess, between these two squads so so far. So far, yes, so <laughs> far. <laughs> Compared to what we usually see with these teams, it's been very tame. But again, stress the so far. Now that oh. one hits Babacco on the side of the, of the face. He's going to have to go to the bench. Now here's Vaca. He knocks down the Thunderbirds player. That's just a bad break right there. Was, yeah, his own player would threw the puck up and caught him in the side. I think just below the mask. Or the grease, the glass shield, or plastic shield. Now here's Wood. He gets wow. tripped up at center ice. And Thunderbirds with the puck. And no call. Now the Thunderbirds across the blue line with it. Josephson with the shot. Brancato makes the save, and he'll hold. With 3.49 to play in the second period, still scoreless. Suhai loses by the score of 2-1 to one to the Capital City Capitals, or the Lansing City Capitals. Whichever one you want to go yeah. with. Lansing City Capital sounds best because everybody knows Lansing City. It That's is capital, true. Right? It is. Yeah. So the Sioux High Blue Devils hockey struggles continue mightily. Better get, better out or better uh, score line at least in that one. Yeah. Now here's Ford in his own blue line over to Cicello. Santa Maria chips it in. Rogers with the puck in the near corner. Picked up by Hayes behind the net. Now Hayes centers it. Harris. We'll break that up. Goes back to the point. Ford, his shot, hits a player in front. That's Bulware. Gets it up to Dax. Dollywall at center ice. Now he'll get across the blue line. Nice job there by Cicello to ride him out of the play. Puck over in the far corner. McLaughlin with it. Now Cicello picks it up for the Thunderbirds. Cicello pass just out of the reach of Rogers. Now he'll skate it across the Eagles' blue line. Back to Hayes with a shot. Brancato with the save. He'll stick aside the rebound. Goes to the far corner. Thunderbirds with some pressure now. Hayes with it over along the end boards. That's Rogers behind the net. Santa Maria tries, thought about a wraparound. Now poke checked away by Bulware. Back to the point, kept in by Cicello. Now Cicello over to Ford. Ford with the shot. That one hits a player and goes wide. Dollywall will pick it up for the Eagles, and he'll clear the zone. 2.40 to play in the second period. Still scoreless. Shots 24-17 in favor of the Eagles. Ooh. Now puck at center ice. Savard Hill. Well, almost lost the puck. He'll keep it. Nice pass. Gets it to Clemens. Clemens over to Kovacs. A what shot. A save and a again. save there, Brancato. Kovacs would have got a little more on that shot. I think that goes in. Yeah. But Brancato read it well and makes the save. He came across there. Good, good, big save. Another big save. So both teams getting their chances here in the second period. And he goes out shot the Thunderbirds 9-0 to start, but it's been an even Steven since then. Face off to the left of Brancato. Coming up in the post-game portion of our show on the radio, Larry Pazabon will have his three stars of the night as well as Paz's corner. Now puck in the Eagles zone along the end boards. Thunderbirds trying to get that puck loose. Now on the near boards, Young at the blue line. Young with it. He'll cycle it down low. Over to Kovacs at the far corner. Kovacs for the Thunderbirds gets it back to the point. That's Broom with it. His shot sticked aside by Brancato. Savard on the rebound for the Thunderbirds. Two minutes to play here in the second period. Still no score. Clemens with it. Clemens for the Thunderbirds. Skated in the slot between the circles. Now Clemens will dump it down low for Kovacs. Kovacs centering chance in front. Taken away by Dresch. And here come the Eagles with it. Clark. Clark at center ice. Now across the blue line. Clark with the puck. As that's going to be easily stopped by... Avola and he'll make the save with 139 to play in this second period. Seems like nobody can catch up to Clark there. He was going all the way down in by himself and no eagle within inside. They're all out high on the blue line, so he just shot it towards the goal. Got a stop to play. At least they got a face off in there now. Steve O says higher as well, Larry, so you're on an island by yourself with your guests. <laughs> so we'll find out here at the start of the third period. Larry Pazban will buy all the winners a uh, beverage of their choice next visit at Polar Stadium. He makes that kind of money. Yeah. <laughs> now here's Rebic with it across the blue line. Rebic, oh, chance there, bad shot there by Bucha. 
Didn't get a whole lot of wood on that one, if you will. Now Branninger gets knocked down away from the play. He's slow getting up. Branninger, real slow getting up. Coach Doug LaProd really upset with that one. Looking like it might have been an elbow there. It was definitely a hit up high, but no call. Minute left. Still no score. Oh, Branninger yeah, that's now gonna hurt. goes to the bell. Yeah, They're going to no, call it, yeah, too. Yeah. No, that's going to hurt. That's a tough break there. Yeah, that's going to hurt. For the Eagles. Coach Doug LaProd, he is just He's furious. Trying to get off the ice. Hanke. As the player was hurt, it hit him going off the bench. And that's that's a tough call right yeah, there. Yeah, here it is. The other guy's talking to him now. They're gonna, but the, he he called the penalty. He's gonna have to now. You can't you can't read no, and take well, it away. No, you can't a that's, goal apparently. So yeah. maybe you can't a penalty. That's a tough break. Yeah, there is. Branninger got hit away from the play. I thought there was maybe a possible elbow or something involved. Coaches were upset. Branninger skates back to the bench, and as he's skating. The puck hits them. And again, you know, with when that happens, they're going to call too many men. But yeah. you almost think in that instance they, they should wipe that off yeah. there, the way that whole thing I think, developed. Yeah, I think with Branniger, if he would have went to the closed door, but go to the other door that leads you right down into the dressing room. So instead of going to the first door, he was trying to get to the second one. And no, they're you not going to wave it. it off. They're going to no, they're they're call. And you it, like it, you said, it. Larry, you, you make the call. It's, sorry. it's like making a strike call as an umpire. You can't say, oh, I'm my bad ball. Yeah, yeah. You, know? <laughs> you have to call you, it. You know what? You try and make it up on another call well, that's after. That's it. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this, this, is, this, is a big, this is a big penalty call right here. I think the hair in his beard got in the way. Of his Second eyes. period. Peanut Gallery fired up up here, Larry, about that one. So here we go. Thunderbirds on the power play. It's going to be too many men on the ice. Thunderbirds win the faceoff. Now the Thunderbirds with it. It's Parsons at the blue line. Parsons to Clemens. Back to the point. Parsons moving it over. That's Young. Young dumps it down low. Thunderbirds with it. Kovacs trying to get that puck. Clark over there. Now Kovacs has it. Kovacs on the backhand gets it to Young. Young, 30 seconds left, over to Savard. Now back to the point, Young. Savard will take it, actually. Now Savard thought about winding uh, and fire. Now moving in. Ooh. That one block goes back to the point. Young with the shot. That deflection goes wide. 20 seconds left. Then a player gets knocked down with the Eagles. Shoot it down the ice. 15 seconds left in the period. The Birds will be on the power play to start the third if they don't get a goal here in the next 10 seconds. Young with it behind his own net. Five seconds. Quickly up ice That's to Savard. Icy. And that's going to be an icing call with 3.3 seconds left here in the second period. So it looks like we're going to be scoreless after two periods of play. Shots 25-19 in favor of the Eagles. Well, these teams are separated by just two points in the standings. You would expect this okay. game to be close. Okay, Scarella now takes a shot toward the net. Just like that he tried, but didn't get far. That's what you want. After two periods of play, we are scoreless here at Puller Stadium. We're going to take a break. We'll be back with our second intermission coming up. You are watching Sioux Eagles Hockey on Hockey TV, and you're listening on ESPN 1400. Seattle Asin back at Puller Stadium here for our second intermission. After two periods of play, we are scoreless between the Sioux Eagles and the Sioux Thunderbirds. The Eagles out shooting the Thunderbirds by a 25-19 count, 11-11 in that second period and both teams with good opportunities so far uh, really about even as far as the great scoring opportunities and credit both goaltenders tonight they have played well Sam Avola this is our first look at him here at Polar Stadium he's played really well making 25 saves and as Suigos fans have come to expect Shane Brancato also playing stellar in net he has made 19 saves for the Sioux Eagles. Other games going on in the NLJHL. We got some high scoring games tonight. Uh, late third period up in Hearst. The Lumberjacks leading Kirkland Lake by a 4-3 to three count. And a good one in Cochrane. Under a minute to play in the third period. The Crunch leading the French River Rapids by a 7-6 to six count. Rayside Belfour early third period up on Elliott Lake by a 5-1 count. And Blind River after two periods of play in Espanola, leading the Express by the score of 7-2. to Sioux Greyhounds in action tonight at the Memorial Gardens. They trail the Saginaw Spirit 2-1 to with eight minutes left in the third period. The Sioux High Blue Level hockey team 
loses this, uh, this evening at the Big Bear Arena to the Capital City Caps by the score of 2-1. to one. And the Sioux High girls basketball team, they do win at Sheboygan, defeating the Chiefs by the score of 61-31. to 31. Don't forget to tune in to our sister station, 1230 WSOO, tomorrow morning, 11.05, Coach's Corner. From Applebee's on the I-75 Business Spur with Dave Watson. Dave will host that show. And then we have some other sports going on on our family of stations at Sovereign Communications tomorrow. Dave will have the call of the Sioux High Blue Devils and Capital City at the Big Bear Arena. 1250 over at 1230 WSOO. We'll have Sioux Greyhounds Hockey on Rock 101. 635 pregame shows. The Hounds will be at Saginaw. And we will be here, Larry and I, for the broadcast tomorrow night, the Sioux Eagles taking on the Elliott Lake Wildcats while the pregame show 645 here on ESPN 1400 and Hockey TV. And don't forget to tune in to the Twin Sioux's only local, regional, and national sports show Monday night on ESPN 1400. It's called The Game with myself, Dave McKegg, Butch Davis, and EJ Russell. Two hours of the Twin Sioux's only local, regional, and national sports show. We'll interview some coaches and players in the first hour and focus on local sports in the second hour. More of a regional and national sporting perspective. Lots going on in the world of sports, of course, with the NFL Conference Finals this weekend. Green Bay, San Francisco, Kansas City, and Tennessee. Can Tennessee knock off another team on the road to make it to the Super Bowl? We'll talk about all that and more coming up on the game. And you can hear podcasts of the show at the website, thegamesportshow.com and thegamesportshow.podbean.com. You can also find the audio broadcast of our ESPN 1400 radio broadcast of Swigles Hockey on those same sites. We're going to take a break here in our second intermission. When Larry and I come back, we'll have the start of the third period. we got a good one at the puller. No score between the Swigles and the Sioux Thunderbirds. You're watching Swigles Hockey on Hockey TV in HD, and you're listening on ESPN 1400. Back at Puller Stadium, Scott Nason rejoined by Larry Pazabon. And uh, Paz, our score after two. We have no score shots, 25-19 in favor of the Eagles. And as I said in the last segment, Larry, uh, really both teams with good scoring chances throughout this game, but credit the goaltenders, they've kept it scoreless. Yeah, both teams, uh, 11 shots on goal each. So uh, they're, they're staying strong each. Uh, Big saves out there tonight, boy. Yeah. I tell you, that second period, it was, it was, it was, it was a crazy second period. A goal that was called back, two minutes minute on the ice, a penalty that, you know, once it's called, you can't nullify it. Uh, just that now the Eagles have to kill off that one one minute and four seconds to uh, get back into the game full strength. Uh, now it boils down to who wants the game, or who gets lucky, or uh, who plays hockey, who makes a mistake. Because these two teams right now, they're even Steven. Let's see what's going to happen in this third period. Larry, before we get to the start of the third period, our attendance challenge, uh, you put up a guess of 653. Me in the field went higher. Larry? Well, along with a number of other That's people. That's what I mean, yeah, the field. Yeah, field yeah. What, what is yeah, our the, attendance, the attendance tonight? attendance here tonight I got from downstairs was 589. Nah, I don't know about that. Yeah. I, clearly some Russian interference <laughs> uh, <laughs> a, a, happening in that one. Yeah, I, I'm yeah. going to check check into that one. I'm going to get Robert uh, Muller on yeah, the case yeah, to see okay. what that attendance figure is. So but it's now 99. 99, and so I'll put up a tiebreaker tomorrow night. <laughs> yeah, and tomorrow night could be interesting, Larry, because we're supposed to get quite a bit of snow here in the Twin Sioux. Uh, they're predicting anywhere from four to nine inches of snow, so that's wow. not going to stop us. Obviously, we'll get here. It might stop you. you got a little longer to go, but we'll probably have a smaller crowd tomorrow night, being that it's not the Easy. Thunderbirds. Easier for you to count. <laughs> that's right. I may, I may need to. With this high definition now. That's right. HD TV. <laughs> Here on Hockey TV, we're happy to have it. It sounds like the fan base. While we have a moment, Larry, let's go through one more time. I want to say hello to uh, Daniel Clark and uh, Mary Clark Mary came Clark, up and hey, see you. us between I see her now. Where periods. She's up. Here she is, yep. I want to say hello again to the Timmons Rock uh, Twitter feed. I did make them a deal, Larry. They enjoyed the high definition. I said, okay, meet you in the final so your fans can enjoy HD from the polar. They accepted the challenge. There, we just zoomed in on Mary Clark. Yep. There it is. Say hello to Steve O watching, along with Steve Harris, uh, Mike and the Smoothie family, Jennifer Gilmore, Rory Dax and family, Tom Bice and family, Kayla Parrott. I mentioned Dan as well. Thanks, uh, Rob. Patty and Hawk Lanning, along with uh, Maria Lamberty 
and Tom Bice. We got them all. Thank you, and we'll see you tomorrow night here on Hockey TV and ESPN 1400. Back to action here at Polar Stadium. Third period underway. Puck in the Eagle zone. Now the Thunderbirds with it. Kovacs behind the net. Now trying to put it in front. Swatted away by Brancato. Thunderbirds with it. Walk, rather, that's Clemens. Back to the point. Thunderbirds on the power play for another 40 seconds to start the third. Now here's a chance for the Thunderbirds. Kovacs with it. Back to the point. Young. Now Young centers it with a shot. Hits Lamberty. Puck along the near boards. Picked up by Broom. Rather, check that. That's Parsons. Over to Young. 25 seconds left. Now here's a chance. Young moves in. Savard with a shot. Brancato save. Kovacs on the rebound. Out of position. Brancato, he sprawls. But I think it hit a player in front. Now here's Savard with it. He winds and fires. That hits a diving Ali with it. And the Eagles going to shoot that one to center ice. Players going to block those pucks. You always like to see that. The, the goaltender likes to see that. Yes, so he coach. does. Yeah, exactly. Now Savard with it. Penalty has expired. So Thunderbirds 0 for 4 on the power play. Eagles 0 for 2. Now Kovacs turn around, shot, save. And Brancato will hold with 18.50 left in the third period. Still scoreless. Shots now 25-21 in favor of the Eagles. That was a big penalty that the Eagles just killed off. It was one that was uh, called when, I uh, forget, who was it going off? Braniger. Braniger, yes. And uh, hurt, and he got... Puck hit him on the uh, skate while he was standing by the bench trying to get out of the way. I'm trying, trying to, to get off the see ice. see if he's on the bench, Larry. I haven't seen him as of yet. We'll keep an eye on that. Now the Eagles win the face off. McLaughlin at center ice. Now McLaughlin across the blue line. Gets it to Price. Poke checked away by the Thunderbirds. Now they skate it to center. Rebic. One thing we haven't seen a lot of, Larry. Odd man rushes tonight. No, you're right. You only have hardly seen any. Now here come the Eagles with the puck. Clark across the blue line. Now Clark. That one deflects off of Cicello. That one will go into the crowd lookout as that one will go out of play. Well, keep it, lady. Keep it. Yep. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. <laughs> she says, okay, I will. <laughs> Give it to her grandson or husband, boyfriend, whatever. Would you? Who knows who that man is? <laughs> <laughs> Face off to the right of Avola. Eagles with the face off. Ali behind the net. Now taken away by Cicello. Cicello. That one just kind of sticks in the water there. Now here's a chance. Vanderhoff a shot as Avola makes the save. Now here we go. Ali mixing it up with a Thunderbirds player in front. It's a weird play there, Larry, is that puck just kind of stopped behind the net. I think it hit some water that's, that was standing that, there. That Zamboni driver. Yeah. He, he just floods the ice. Now we're going to have a couple penalties, Larry. I think these will offset. So Ali will go to the box along with Ford, so they'll cool down a bit. Thunderbirds two points ahead of the Eagles in the standings. This game goes to overtime. The Eagles can't catch the Thunderbirds tonight. The Thunderbirds do have a game in hand. Now the Eagles with it. A chance. Branninger a shot. Oh, no, that one goes over the net. Branninger back on the ice. So that's good news for the Eagles. Had a good chance there to score a goal. Now puck along the near boards, picked up. Here's the penalty calls. Seven, Nolan Ford. Two minutes, roughing to the Sioux Eagles to number eight, Malik Ali. Two minutes, cross-checking. So roughing and cross-checking the calls as the penalty's offset. Now gloved down by the Eagles in front of shot. No, I wouldn't have counted if it went in. Because yeah. that one was gloved, in the offensive gloved and then moved. So yeah. then I'll whistle it down. We'll have a face off. Outside. 17.40 to play here in the third period. Now, I was talking down when I went and get the attendance, and I was talking to Larry Reed. Now, Larry uh, works the opposition goal uh, door in the, goal, in the penalty box, and his wife, uh, Sherilyn. Sherilyn, yeah. Yeah, yeah. she uh, said she, she usually leaves the game around the third period, and she says she listens to us oh. on the way back. She enjoys it very much. Make said. sure you're parked right with yeah. her, because she'll give you a ticket if you're not there, Larry. Oh, is that right? Oh, yeah. Sherilyn works for the Downtown Development Authority. So, hi, Sherilyn. Known her for a long time. Puck at the blue line. Now that one shot hits a player in front. Thunderbirds with it. Now they'll clear it to center. Picked up by Dollywall. He'll fire it into the zone. Parsons with it. Parsons now in front of his own net. Over the far boards. At center ice, Finley. Trying to get it over oh. to Schmiel. That one broken up. Now Vaca with it. Vaca. He'll skate it. Or rather, he'll pass over to Dax in the slot with a shot. Missing the net. Over to Vaca at the far boards. 
Now the Thunderbirds clear the zone. Here's Schmiel trying to get around Bullware. Dollywall gets hit trying to glove the puck. That's going to be offside. We'll have a faceoff outside the Eagles' blue line. He's calling it gloving it. Offensive uh, zone gloving the puck. 16.48 to play here in this third period. No score. Shots 27-21 in favor of the Eagles. As well, face off outside their blue line. Thunderbirds win the face off. Back to Bucci at his own blue line. Rink wide pass over to Ciccello. Now Ciccello at center ice. He'll fire it off the boards. Brancata will stop it behind his own net. Now he'll play it over to the far boards. Picked up by Santa Maria. Now Santa Maria in the far corner for the Thunderbirds. Rogers over there as well. Santa Maria will pick it up back to the point. Bucha. Bucha over to Ciccello. Now Ciccello with it. He'll put a shot on. Saved by Brancato and he'll hold. We'll have a face off in the Eagles zone. Say hello to Dan Lasley watching. Haven't talked to him for a while. He's enjoying the new HD camera as well. Tell me who's going to complain. There's no, I don't think anybody. Complaints. Like I said, it's going from yeah. the Atari 2600 to the PlayStation 4. <laughs> I own one of those two, Larry. Guess which one I own? Atari. That's right. So do I. Oh, it's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, so do I. Kids hate it. My, like, my wife wants to get rid of it. Says, no, no, no. I got my original one that I got when I was like eight years old. It still works. Awesome. Yeah. I get an iPhone, it breaks in a week. <laughs> <laughs> you tell me what's going on with that. Now here's Vanderhoff across the blue line. Vanderhoff with oh. the move. Vanderhoff with the shot. Oh, and it just trickles wide. Beautiful move by Vanderhoff uh, as think- that puck almost went in. I think Evola stopped that, but it went. Back. He just didn't completely stop it. Now here's Vanderhoff. He gets knocked down. Wood with the puck at the near circle with a shot. Hits a player in front. Wood with it. Another chance. Another save there. Wood trying to get that puck again. Now picked up by the Thunderbirds. Josephson. Pass up to Hayes. Now Hayes across the blue line. Hayes gets around French. Hayes with the puck. Looking for some help. He gets it with Santa Maria. Santa Maria poke checked away by Parrott. Now Santa Maria gets it back for the Thunderbirds. Puts it in the slot. Now intercepted by Wood. He'll skate it to center. Wood lost the puck. Hayes has it at center ice. He'll flip it back into the Eagles zone. 15-20 to play in the third period. We're still scoreless here at Polar Stadium. Clark with the puck. He'll fire it off the boards. Vola stops it behind his own net. Now over along the far boards, Dolly Wall. Trying to get that puck loose. Now Dax will rough up Young. Young will pick up the puck. Puck still behind the Thunderbirds net. T-Birds trying to clear the zone. They still can't get it out of there. Ooh, it almost did. Dresch. It wasn't, wasn't completely out. Now the Thunderbirds still trying to get out of the zone. Young will flip that one along the near boards. Clark does a good job to keep it in again. Eagles, good forecheck here. Over along the far boards. Dax trying to get the puck from Young. A puck right in front of the Thunderbirds bench. Fine. No, they won't. Now they do. <laughs> Thunderbirds finally get it out. Across the blue line, Savard for the T Birds. Savard with the move. Savard still has oh, it. Savard the body. in between the circles, a shot. That one blocked. Dax can't clear it. Now picked up by Broom. Now Broom with the shot. Gloved down by Brancato, and he'll hold. With 14 17 to play in the third period, we are still scoreless. You had one Thunderbird standing right there in the side waiting for a rebound or something. That was Kovacs, number 11. Sioux Indians at the Silver Sticks Tournament in Sarnia. They tied earlier today 2-2 against Waterloo, and they're leading right now 1-0 over the London Junior Knights. Very That's familiar. interesting. Yeah. The Sioux, uh, Indians, because I've watched them play. They've been, they haven't won too many games here. Yeah, I'll tell you what, they've played some tough teams. Now here's Price with it. Price with the puck. Down low to Scarella. Scarella back to Bullware. Bullware with the shot, hits the side of the net. Rebound goes to Price on the near side. Now Price to Lamberty. Or to Scarella, back to Lamberty. Poke checked away there by Savard. Now Scarella's shot goes wide, back to the point. Harris, his shot goes behind the net. Scarella on the rebound. Now puck over to Kovacs for the Thunderbirds. Kovacs pass, nice one, gets it to Clemens. Now Clemens trying to get around Harris. He does good job by Brancato. Uh-oh. The poke checked that away, then makes the save on the rebound. A good chance for the Thunderbirds. Kovacs with it. For the Thunderbirds, back to the point. Broom. Eagles thought they led 1-0 in the second period. Vaca thought he scored a goal, but that one was kicked in, according to the official. Now here's Price with it. He gets knocked down. Picked up by the Thunderbirds. They'll skate it to center. That's Broom. Broom will fire it in. On the end boards. Walkington, now he loses it. 
Thunderbirds now trying to get some possession. Price falls down in front of him again, hit by his own player. Now Parrott with it. Over to French. Ali will take it for the Thunderbirds, and he'll clear that one down the ice. Vanderhoff, I think he's going to be offside or an icing. icing Either way, it's going to be a whistle. And we'll yeah. face off. We'll give us a moment, Larry, to look at our out-of-town scoreboard. We should have some finals here from some of the other games. Hurst, they defeat Kirkland Lake 5-4 in Hurst. Cochran in a wild game against French River. They win that one by the score of 8-7. to seven. Wow. Rayside Balfour looks like they're going to win. They lead Elliott Lake 5-1, to one, four minutes left in the third period. And Blind River, they're going to win as well. Beavers leading Espanola 8-3. So the standings won't change at the top in the NLJHL's West Division. Blind River will still be two points ahead of Rayside Balfour. If the Eagles can win this game in regulation, they'll tie the Thunderbirds in the standing. Now there's a big hit, I believe, on Rebeck. Eagles bench likes that one. Puck in the near corner in the Eagles zone. Rebick voids the hit there by French. Now Rebick trying to get that puck. French will pick it up. Vanderhoff backhands into center ice. Ali can't catch up to the puck. Now Ticello, nice between the legs pass to Ford in his own zone. 12-10 to play in this third period. We'll st we are still scoreless. That should be icy. Shots 28-24 and a late icing whistle. Yeah. Face off back. Well, I was looking around for zone. the linesman to, to pick it up. Want to say hello to Shecky. Where do they no, watching in New Jersey? No, they're saying it's not icing. They're coming to the center ice. Okay. Face off, won by the Thunderbirds. Twelve minutes to play in this third period. We're still scoreless. Now fired over to the far boards. Vaca with it. Gresham Bumbacco over there. Now Bumbacco over to Clark. Clark with the puck. Nice pass off the boards to Wood. Now Wood across the blue line. Wood waiting, getting it to Bumbacco. Bumbacco backhand shot. Avola will make the save, and he will hold. 29-24 yeah. shots. Close game. 11.39 to play in this third, third period. 0-0. Zero, zero. That's a close score. Too. Yeah, I'm wondering. I was, I was trying to... Go back to the archives if the Eagles and Thunderbirds have ever had a 0-0 game go into overtime. I don't remember one off the top of my head. Might I, be, don't, I don't either. I don't think so. They're rare in general, but yeah. <laughs> I don't recall one here against the Thunderbirds. Now a shot and a save there by Avola on the shot by French, or Dresch rather. Now the Eagles pick it up. Scrella back to Clark. Now Clark with a quick shot. Stick to side by Avola. Over along the far boards. Lamberty with it. Now the Thunderbirds pick up the puck. They'll skate it to center ice. Schmiel across the blue line. Poke checked away by Clark. Over to Dresch. Now Dresch behind his own net. Scarella fires that hard off the boards. That's going to be icing, we think. And it will yeah. be. 11 minutes to play in the third period. A scoreless faceoff back in the Eagles zone. Everybody's calm out there, eh? On the bench, oh, coaches are a little quiet, yeah. I, you know, it's been really calm, Larry, as is, uh, is, uh, Mr. Parco and crew. I haven't seen them really <laughs> jump up and down like we've seen in the past. Really waving that program or is it The New there? Year's resolution, maybe, I don't know. The kinder, gentler oh. Coach John Parco. That's going to be a quick shot and a save there by Brancato. Again, coming up in our post-game show, radio only or on the podcast, we'll have... A recap of the scoring, if we will get some eventually. Maybe in the shootout, but we will get some. And then Larry Posman will have his three stars and the famous segment, Pause's Corner. <laughs> Larry gives us his thoughts on whatever the heck's on his mind. And it's a lot, usually. Now nice. buckle on the near boards. Thunderbirds with the puck. Now a shot that will go off of Bullware over to the far corner. Harris, now McLaughlin for the Eagles, skates at the center. Picked up by Broom in his own zone for the Thunderbirds, now behind his net, Broom with the puck. And as they'll clear it to center, Bulware will shoot it right back into the T-Bird zone. The T-Birds will shoot it right back out. Bulware chases it in his own zone, now Bulware off the skate of Dolly while Cicello in his own blue line. To the Rodgers. Now the Eagles have it in their own zone halfway through this 
third period. We'll get immediate timeout on the next whistle, barring a power play opportunity. Now Savard at his own blue line. That one blocked by Dax at center ice. Picked up by the T-Birds. At the center circle, oh, Ford, here's a chance. Dollywall, he's got Dax with him. Dollywall over to Dax. Puck. Dax in, shot, save, rebound, puck loose. As Avola will keep it, and that one laid in the crease there dangerously. But Avola makes the save with 9.44 to play in the third period, Larry. Media timeout, no score. Yeah, rolling puck, they couldn't, the Eagles couldn't get a handle on it. And then it got in too close, and he couldn't do anything with it. Yeah. So media timeout, Larry. Uh, good effort for the Eagles, I think, in this one. There really haven't been a whole lot of lulls, but they just can't get the puck past the Vola. What are they going to need to do a little bit better to try to knock one past them? I don't know. Same thing that the, uh, the Thunderbirds are trying to do on Brancato. So it's it's right now it's goaltender's night here, and, and uh, players, are, the shots aren't accurate. or they're Like I say, when they do get a good opportunity, the goaltenders are come up strong. So you got to... Hey, goaltenders goal are keeping both teams in the game, and, and and that's good. I mean, I don't like going to a hockey game if I'm a, a spectator to sure. watch a 0-0 zero, zero game. I like to go see a 9-3 or something like that. So, But here, uh, you know, maybe the fans are in the same opinion, but the coaches and uh, the parents, <laughs> they like to see a close game until their their son's team is ahead. Well, and this is a big game, obviously, for both teams. Larry, you're, you're fighting for third place in the standings, but I, I just think it has a little more importance for the Eagles because the Thunderbirds still have to play the Eagles twice there and you know they're the team ahead and the Eagles this is their chance you, know, yeah. you don't get a whole lot of chances in these four point games against the team you're chasing and you lose this one you're down four points and then it, the math gets a lot harder yeah all right so back to live action here face off to the right of Avola he's made all 32 saves on shots he's faced and Brent Cottle's made 25 saves on all 25 shots he's faced that's why we're scoreless. Now Ali dumps it down low. Vanderhoff can't catch up to the puck. On the near boards. Thunderbirds with it. Savard. Now Savard. Fighting for that puck with Branninger. Thunderbirds will clear the zone. Here's Clemens. Cross the blue line. Now Clemens gets around Parrott. Clemens puts it in front. Hits Kovacs. Now Kovacs puts it in front. Now pinching in. Nice pass. Here's Savard with the shot. Brancato. He came across. Right with I don't know, boy. Wow. He he was reading him. He is. He's reading the game tonight, Brancato. And that was a tough one because that pass was clever. And Brancato, you almost think he would have went with the shooter, but he, like you said, Larry, stayed right with him. Yeah, he's reading this. Good Puck for him. Vision, I think you call it. Face off to the right of Brancato. Eagles win the draw. Wood with it behind his own net for the Eagles. Gets it up to Vaca. Now Vaca, to bump, rather that is Mabaco. Excuse me. Now Vaca with it. Clemens will clear the zone for the Thunderbirds. Pocket center ice. Clark, he'll fire it in. Avola behind his own net for the T-Birds. Gets it to Parsons. Parsons now being pressured by Bumbacco. He'll clear it to center ice and down the ice. No ice in it. Hit number 26. Now Clark with it for the Eagles. Clark at his own blue line. Poke checked away. Now Dresch gets it. Dresch at center ice. He'll fire it in. Linesman gets out of the way of that one. He did that time. What did they call in here? They're calling Icy. Why? They they ne- they called the, the other one off the same idea. I was wrong on it. Now they're calling this one. they got to go to center ice on this one also. Yeah, he's getting center ice. No, this guy's saying the center ice. That's the right call. I was surprised by the icing call. It caught me off guard. Mm-hmm. And so, well. What's good for the goose is good for the gander, Larry, I yeah. think they say. And so that's happened twice against each team. So we'll do the face-off at center ice. We haven't had any face-offs at center ice after goals tonight. So I guess <laughs> if maybe we'll do it after icings in between. Or periods. Be, yeah, start, between, the start, start of periods. Start of the period, exactly. Yeah. Now here's Rebic with it for the Thunderbirds. 8.15 to play in the third period. We're still scoreless. Price with it. Eagles might have an odd man rush if they hurry. Skrell across the blue line. Price goes to the net. Price gets it a shot. Stave there. By Avola, and he'll hold. Now we got some commotion after the play as players collided, but looks like are they going to call an interference call? On on, on who? It this, should be if it's anybody's the T-Birds. But. So the Eagles might get a power play opportunity. Now Coach Parco not liking that call. Okay. So that's going to be number eight, Colton Hayes, going to the box for the Thunderbirds. The Eagles go on their third power play here, Larry, with 8.06 to play. My opinion right now, I'm gonna, that's the makeup call right there. Could be. 
Face off to the right of Vola. I would not argue that one at all, Larry. So interference call on Hayes. Eagles are on their third power play. Now Branninger loses his stick as Schmiel will take it for the Thunderbirds and clear it down the ice. Brand Cotto out of his net. He'll leave it behind the net. Picked up by Clark. Clark with the puck. At center ice, Cello. Now Vanderhoff with it. Vanderhoff across the blue line. Nice move, but he ran out of real estate. Puck goes over to Scarella. Now that hits off of Schmiel's skate and will go all the way down the ice. There's been a lot of that going on tonight for both teams. They try and make a pass to somebody and it hits somebody else or, you know, They've all been, uh, but it's been, I say, both teams right at, right at them. Come on, you guys got to. No shot down the ice by the Thunderbirds. Eagles unable to get some pressure here on the power play. So a minute five left on the extra man advantage. Lamberty in his own zone. He'll pass over to Clark. Now Clark there, no. across the blue line. Clark with the puck. Now across the blue line. Lamberty. Lamberty in. Backhand shot. Misses the net. That one goes high. Over along the far boards to Scarella. 50 seconds left on the power play. Under seven minutes to play as that one hits a Eagles player. We'll go into the Thunderbirds bench and they're trying to say the faceoff should go outside the blue line. And it will. And it will. We'll be here tomorrow night, Larry and I, for Sioux Eagles against Elliott Lake Wildcats. 645 on ESPN 1400 and on Hockey TV in HD. I like saying that. Oh, yeah. Been practicing that one for about two years. <laughs> now here's Dretch with the puck. Up to Wood. Across the blue line, Vaca. Vaca in, shot, save. That was Wood with the opportunity. Rebound on the near boards to French. Now the referee gets in the way of the puck. Takes a break for the Eagles. Vaca in the near corner. 20 seconds left on the power play. Dresch at the point. Dresch over to Price. Now back to Dresch. Over to French. He fires, save by Avola. Rebound along the near corner. 15 seconds left on the power play. Vaca with it. Vaca back to the point. French. Now French over to, or excuse me, French. Now with the shot. Save. Rebound. Goes to Dresch. His shot. That one goes wide. Five seconds left on the power play. French at the near point. And he'll have that puck taken away, but he gets it right back and shoot it in. Thunderbirds back at full strength. Six minutes to play in this one. Shots 36-26. Eagles, but we're scoreless. Vaca. Back to the point. Wood. Wood shot. Blocked by Rebick. Wood tries to get it back. As that one will get out of the reach of French. And here comes Hayes with it. Hayes gets around French. Now Hayes still with the puck. He's Thunderbirds, all by himself yep, out there. Thunderbirds go for a line change. He goes with it. Wood now. Wood over to Price. Now Price across the blue line. Price with the puck. Poke checked away there. Price loses his balance. Goes back to the point. Wood. Now Bullware his shot. That deflection goes wide. Over in the far corner. Price picked up by Parsons. 5.20 to play in this third period. If this one remains scoreless or tied after regulation, we'll play a five-minute three-on-three. If it remains tied after that, we'll do the shootout. Savard gets it to Kovacs in front of shot. Brad oh. Cotto again. Smooth with that glove hand makes the save. Big save there again. This is now where it's getting time. Uh, time's running out, so the, the next goal would be the first goal. That's going to be a big goal for both both teams. I would say so indeed, Larry. 5.08 to play in the third period. Face off to the right of Brancato. The Eagles did beat the Thunderbirds in a shootout earlier this season. Here at home. Face off, controlled by the Eagles. Bullware will slide over to Harris. Harris with the puck in his own zone. Five minutes to play. Uh, that went down the ice. Gonna icy that's going to be an icing call. Uh. So will bring the face off back. Let's see if we have a final from the Sioux Greyhounds. Well, the Saginaw Spirit beat the Hounds by the score of 5-2. Five 5-2. To two five to two. At the Memorial Gardens. They'll play again tomorrow night in Saginaw. You can hear that game locally on our sister station, Rock 101, with Jerry Liscomb Jr. What did you say? Saginaw beefed up for that, eh? They did. Yeah, they yeah, made I, some I, lot of moves. They, they, they made trade a lot deadline. of moves. Yeah. Yep. I read on that, too. Now the Eagles clear the zone. Dollywall across the blue line for the Eagles. Dollywall with the puck. They're yelling offside the coaching staff for the Thunderbirds. Thunderbirds trying to clear the zone. Bullware keeps it in. That will go behind the net. Young will chase it for the Thunderbirds. Now over at the far boards. McLaughlin with it. Over to Dollywall in the far corner. Dollywall trying to move that puck loose. 
Still has it. Young over there for the Thunderbirds. Now Dollywall will come up with the puck. Dollywall back to the point. Harris. Harris over to Bulware. Now Bulware with the shot. Easy save there for Evola. And he'll hold with 4.13 to play in the third period. Again, line changes for both teams. Five new fresh bodies on. 1-1 one, one tie at Little Caesars Arena between the Pittsburgh Penguins and the Detroit Red Wings. You near that game locally over on 1230 WSOO. With Ken Callen, Paul Woods. Now face off to the left of Avola. Thunderbirds win the face off. Young with it. Young off the boards. That'll go to center. French. Bouncing puck. Vanderhoff. Nice job by Cicello, but Branninger gets it back. Now picked up by Josephson. Now here comes Schmiel across oh, the blue a... line. Schmiel with it. Shot. That just goes wide. Bounce over to Cicello. Now Cicello shot. Glove down by Brancato, boy, he's making those glove saves look yeah. rather routine. He does. I, I, one shot he made there, or save he made there, he looked like the first baseman catching, you know, in, in a, on a baseball team. He's, his glove is on. He's on. Like you say, he's on. So is Evola. They're, we're getting we're getting some goaltending uh, examples out here tonight. I can pick out two of your three stars, Larry, unless this one really <laughs> goes a different direction. Max, I'd probably pick out the third, too. It's apparently You're right. one of the other three. <laughs> I think I... I think I know where you're going with these. Now Price with it at center ice for the Eagles. Up to, no, he couldn't get it to Skrella. Skrella was offside. It's Ford gloves that down. Now quickly up to Schmiel across the blue line. Schmiel in the slot, loses the puck. Eagles clear it to center. Now Walkington trying to get it back in the Eagles zone. Puck along the far boards at center ice. It's Parrot over there. And all sorts of players over there. Got six on. of them, and nobody's moving. You got to blow block. the whistle. You guys are getting ridiculous out there. Now here we go. It's uh, yeah, it's, puck still along the boards. Yeah, look, at, look at this. Come we, on. We might get to overtime now. Yeah, now yeah, Parrot yeah, knocks yeah. out the Thunderbirds. Here we that's, go. That's what they did. They're now, here we go. It's the, going now. The officials caused that right there. French and Parrot. Now we got a player jumping in on Parrot as you have three Thunderbirds and two Eagles over there. And uh, I would agree with you, Larry, there. you got to blow that whistle after yeah. a few seconds. You just yeah. you let it go, you let it go, and you, something and like that yeah, happens, and yeah. it didn't need to happen. Yeah, that, that's, yeah. So we should have some penalties here. By yeah. my math, it was three Thunderbirds and two Eagles kind of uh, in the scrum. Yeah, but you, you had a, we'll say, a, a, a second or a third man in on an on a incident there. Well, we got two Thunderbirds going to the bench and one Eagle, so we'll see if the math works out for the Eagles here. This is a big call. It, it, this is a big call, yeah. And right now, I don't see any other Eagles going to the box, although they are looking towards the bench area, so I think they might have one more Eagle going. Yeah. So this it is. looks like these will be a wash with 3.04 to play in this third period. We're still scoreless. Maybe we are getting an extra penalty here, Larry. We are? The Eagles? No, I mean, as oh. we as in the, just in, in general. No, no, Walkton's going out. They're saying, uh, or maybe because if he was a third man in on, on a second in. Uh, no, there are three and two. That's the way I looked at it. So I would assume there'd be three penalties for the Thunderbirds and two for the Eagles, but you can never assume in this business. No, no, they're going with two and two. Well, we have a moment, Larry. Let's see if we have any finals from those other games we were watching. We do have a final in Elliott Lake, race side 5, Elliott Lake 1. We also have a final in Espanola, Blind River 8, Espanola 3. Hurst over Kirkland Lake, 6-4, to four, and Cochran over French River, 8-7. So this is the only game not final in the NLJHL, and it looks like we'll have offsetting penalties. So we'll play 5 aside. We'll get the calls from Bob St. Peter on all these penalties. Think he's ready? Who? Bob? Oh. <laughs> are, you question, kidding, are you question? Was you, if there's four, you know he ain't ready. <laughs> He'll be ready by tomorrow night's pregame. Yeah. He'd be ready for the shootout. Now well, it's coincidental, so we're not going to worry about Bob here. Now here's Bumbacco at his own blue line. There's the penalties. Cooper Schmiel, two minutes roughing uh, to number 25. Mackenzie Walkington, two minutes roughing. To the Sioux Eagles, to number two, Cameron Parrott, two minutes roughing. And to number 19, Bryce French, two minutes roughing. So there you have it, Larry. All those penalties wash out. Patty, I would agree 100%. 
<laughs> Here's Clark. With Me too. Yeah, well, you know what you do. I have to. Well, you know. Here's Branninger at the center ice. 2.25 to play here in the third period. Overtime looms at Polar Stadium. Ali in the near corner. Branninger with it. Now he loses the puck. Picked up by Savard. Young in his own zone. Back to center ice. Shots 37-28 in favor of the Eagles. Across the blue line. Parsons now will skate it to center. Across the Eagles blue line. Under two minutes to play. Buckle on the near boards. Kovacs. Now Savard goes to the net. Savard behind the net. Looking. Now we're going to have a whistle. Net, net's and off, off the mooring. So. Yeah. Want to say hello, as I mentioned, to Kayla Parrott. She just sat down to watch this game after a basketball win. And she got to see uh, <laughs> her boy in a scrum. What a birthday <laughs> treat. Happy birthday, Kayla. And in HD. You couldn't get much better than that. Yeah. Although I think the broadcast is still probably mediocre as far as audio. Hey, mediocre. You bat 200 in baseball, you make $3 million, so that's okay yeah. too. Somebody just signed for $80 million. That's ridiculous. Yeah, not, not, really. the, not the Houston Astros manager, I can tell you that much. <laughs> Got caught with their hand in the cookie jar. Yeah, on, on the garbage can. <laughs> yeah, the garbage, garbage can, can. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Now here's the Thunderbirds with it. Could be a two-on-one. Rebic across the blue line. Gets it over to Hayes just out of his reach. Now... Chance in front, Brancato makes the save and he'll hold with a minute 22 left in this third period, still scoreless. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. We've got one, two, two left. So face off to the right of Brancato. Again, if this goes to overtime, both teams will get a point. So the Eagles would not be able to catch the Thunderbirds tonight for third if this goes to overtime. Currently two points behind them for third place. Now Rebeck over in the far corner for the Thunderbirds. On the end boards. Eagles with it. Now Rebeck back to the point. Ford. Ford fires. That one deflects. Goes behind the net. Hayes on the rebound. Brand Kyle sticks that pad out and makes the save. Now Walkington back to the point. Ford. Less than a minute to play. Ford will dump it down low to Hayes. Hayes tried to get it in front quickly. Hayes still has it behind the net. Now he does get it in front. Here's a chance for Ford. He fires. Whoa, oh, what a Brand save, Cattle. Brand Cotto. My goodness, he gets that glove out there, and that was a hard shot, Larry. And Brancato makes his best save of the night, or one of them. <laughs> one My of them. One of them. One of them. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Just you thought that puck was going in, and yeah. then all of a sudden there's a glove there. That whole thing started wow. when the Eagles tried to clear the zone, and it didn't by by making a, a short pass inside the, the face-off circle, and that started everything going against them. 48 seconds left here in regulation. Face-off won by the Eagles. They're out shooting the Thunderbirds 38-31. So Look at it. Not... Here we go again. you, you got to get that first pass. It's got to get you out of there. Now here's Dresch with it at center ice. He'll fire it in. Puck in the near corner. Picked up by Parsons. 30 seconds to play. Now Parsons behind his own net. Pass it over. Now it's center ice. Nice job by Ali to break that up. He'll dump it down to the... Thunderbird zone, 20 seconds left. They'll fire it off the near boards. T-Birds at their own blue line. Savard, pass broken up by Dresch. Here's a chance. Oh, Kovacs going to the net. Kovacs now over the far corner. That will go through the slot. 10 seconds left. Thunderbird's looking for one last chance here. Dresch knocks around Clemens. Five seconds. Puck still on the near boards. Kovacs picks it up. And we whoa, whoa, whoa. are going to overtime. overtime. I had to hesitate there for a moment as that yeah. puck goes right in front of the net. We'll keep it here. For the two-minute break between intermission or between the end of the third period and overtime, no score. So both teams get a point in the standings, and so we will play for the extra point coming up. Three-on-three three hockey for five minutes, and then the shootout potentially is coming our way as well. This has really been an evenly played game. The Eagles, the first ten minutes of this one, Larry outshot the Thunderbirds, 9 nothing to start, but really since then, both teams have had equal chances, and you can't say enough good things about how these two goalies have played, Larry. Avola with 38 saves for the Thunderbirds, Brancato with 31 saves, and both have made several fantastic saves as well. Highlight real saves. Yeah, the, the goaltending's been great tonight. Out of town scoreboard once again. We have all finals in the NLJHL. Hurst over Kirkland Lake, 6-4. Cochran over French River, 8-7. 
Rayside Belfour over Elliott Lake, 5-1, to one, and Blind River over Espinola by an 8-3 to three count. Sioux Greyhounds, they lose tonight at home to Saginaw by the score of 5-2. to two. Sioux High Blue Devil hockey team falls 2-1 to one to Capital City, and the Sioux High Blue Devil girls basketball team, they win at Sheboygan 61-31. to 31. Sioux Indians in action tonight. They're still up 1-0 after 2 against the London Junior Knights, ranked 22 and Waterloo, who they tied with earlier, 2-2. Two two, they're ranked number 9 in the country. So the Indians, again, they're playing some really good hockey this season. They haven't had a whole lot of wins, but they're playing with some of these really good teams. Maybe they're on their roll now. I think so. Yeah. Now, now this is whoever makes a mistake. This is where the other team capitalizes on. And we'll see if the goaltenders can bail out somebody on their team who makes a mistake. So here we go, three-on-three three hockey. Uh, many fans like this, traditionalists like me, eh, maybe not so much, but it's going to be exciting either way. Branninger, Vanderhoff, and Ali. You got all forwards out there for the Eagles right now, Larry. Yeah. Or rather, all, one defense, excuse me, Ali on defense. You have Young, Kovacs, and Clemens. I've been impressed by Clemens tonight for the Thunderbirds. I think he's had a really solid game for the T-Birds. Underway here at Polar Stadium, lots of ice, lots of scoring opportunities. Now Clemens with it for the Thunderbirds, trying to get around Ali. Now Clemens along the near boards. Clemens behind the net for the Thunderbirds, trying to get someone in front. Now Clemens thought about the wrap around, still has it behind the net. Ali, center a shot, oh, and it hits the post. And the net goes off the moorings. What a setup there yeah. as Kovacs hits the post. Mistake. Yeah, yeah. Thunderbirds were patient. And they almost won this game quickly. Really? Hey, that would have been, what, 12 seconds? Well, Thunder, the Indians 22, have won 14 22. games. The Indians currently 14, 22, and 2. And, again, that schedule is tough. Thank you, Dan, for the updates. Face off to the left of Brancato. Kills win the face off. Clark off the rail to Vaca. Now Vaca throws that one off the far boards, chasing it back in the Thunderbird zone. Oh boy. Here's a chance for Wood if he can catch up to the puck. He does. Now Wood with it in the near corner. Wood with the puck. Tries to put it in front. Now here's this a chance for Rebic. Rebic center ice. Nice job by Vaca to get back. Now Savard at the center circle. He'll skate it across the blue line. Savard with it. Makes the move. Tries to get around Clark. Clark knocks him off the puck a little bit. Now over to the far boards. One minute gone in this five minute overtime. Savard at the blue line. Savard now will... Skate it back to center ice, make it a fresh body out there. No, nope, nope. they'll just play it off the boards. Not a real good play there. That was, yeah, what was he doing there? I don't know. Vaca with it behind his own net. Vaca will drop it to Clark. Okay. Clark with the puck. Long pass up ice. Connects with Wood. Now Wood gets it to Vaca in front. Vaca in shot. Save again by Avola. What a chance there for the Eagles. Now here come the Thunderbirds. It's a two on one. Savard breaking. Savard in front. Savard. There it is. And a goal. The Sioux Thunderbirds have defeated the Sioux Eagles by the score of one to nothing. As you can see that play develop, Larry, it was a two on one. Tyler Savard was open in front and he beat Shane Brancato. And so a tough loss for the Sioux Eagles. They do get a point, but the Thunderbirds get that extra point and they win by the score of one to nothing. Well, for our viewers on Hockey TV, we will wish you good night. Hope you enjoyed the high-definition broadcast, and we'll be back tomorrow as the Sioux Eagles will take on the Elliott Lake Wildcats. For those on ESPN 1400, stay tuned to the post-game show. Our final from Polar Stadium in overtime, the Sioux Thunderbirds won, the Sioux Eagles nothing. You have been watching Sioux Eagles Hockey on Hockey TV, and you're continuing to listen on ESPN 1400. Back at Puller Stadium, Scott Nason along with Larry Pazabon. Our final score in overtime, the Sioux Thunderbirds defeat the Sioux Eagles by the score of one to nothing. The game-winning goal scored by Tyler Savard, his 11th of the season at the 129 mark with an assist from Avery Rebick, his 22nd assist of the year, and that's our final, the Sioux Thunderbirds defeat the Sioux Eagles by the score of one to nothing. Other games in the NOJHL: Hurst over Kirkland Lake six to four, Cochrane over French River eight seven, Rayside Bell four five, Elliott Lake one, and Blind River defeats Espinola by the score of eight to three. So looking at the standings, Blind River will get. Two more points, they'll improve to 62 points. Rayside Belfour will stay two points behind the Beavers with 60 points. And the Sioux Thunderbirds will move up three points on the Eagles 
with the extra point in overtime. The Thunderbirds improved to 23, 14, and 2 and 3. They'll have 51 points, while the Eagles, they will fall to 22, 17, 2 and 2 with 48 points. Other scores around before we get to Larry Pazabon's three stars and his Paz's corner, Sue Greyhounds. They fall to Saginaw by the score of 5 to 2. Sioux High Blue Devil Hockey losing at home to Capital City 2-1. to one, And the Sioux High Girls basketball team, they win on the road at Sheboygan by the score of 61-31. to 31. Larry, uh, why don't you give us your three stars of the night? I think I know where you're going with this. Yeah. And then you go ahead with your pauses corner, your thoughts on the game and just life in general. Well, three stars, I mean, that was, you know, all through the game you're looking, you're saying, what, what, who, who's going to get a star? Who deserves a star? And... These players made themselves right at the end, and, and it, you, you can't you can't go wrong by saying number one star. It was goes to uh, <laughs> Savard for the Thunderbirds. He scored the winning goal. It was an, on a, it was on a three on three. He's a, he's a good hockey player. Uh, second star we're going to give to uh, Shane Brancato. Uh, he made some wild saves out there tonight. And again, Evola, the third star. Both goaltenders got shutouts. Well, in, in, in 60 minutes, they got shutouts anyways, and Vola for the overtime also. Uh, that was, I mean, now you go back to take away that kicking goal that they say. That that was a, that was a big call. Absolutely. It was a that, huge call. That, that was a call right the there. The side of the game, really. Really, if you look at it like this, you don't, you don't, get, you don't go into overtime. No. You, you're, you're, you, you, the Eagles win one nothing, And... People say, well, they should ask the goal judge. Well, yeah, you can ask the goal judge, but the goal judge, he could tell you, yes, the puck went over the red line, over, over the goal line. That's all he can say. He can't say, unless maybe they go and ask him, but I don't think so. They'd say, well, somebody kicked it in or somebody kicked with their skate or whatever. But these guys, they don't do it. I've never seen an official in this building go to a goal judge after a goal has been scored or not scored and say, was that puck in? I've seen it a while ago, but it's been a long time. Yeah, it has happened. I remember it happening here before, but again, I don't know. You just, I mean, why have them? I mean, yeah, they're, yeah. they're pointless it's, yeah. it's, if they're not going to be. Unless they were junior because he kept putting the light on all the time. So. <laughs> we could have used them tonight, <laughs> yeah, actually. Yeah, we could have, yeah. <laughs> but no, I mean, you, you, you got a game. You got a and then I'm going to go, I'm going now, I'm, I'm not really jumping around, but I'm just picking you some highlights out here that I think th that incident outside the blue line uh, with uh, the scrum there, where they had six players in there, three from each side, and the referees are over there saying, move the puck, move the puck, move the puck. Well, you know what? Blow the whistle. Never mind, move the puck. Move the puck. What happened after? Because it was in there too long. One person gets on either, whichever team gets mad, hits somebody, now there's a scrum breaks out, and you get you get penalties called, and they can't even make the right call on the penalties. You had two guys from each team squaring off, two guys from another team are squaring off, and then you have a third player from another team jumps in. Well, you want to give coincidental minors to those other guys, give the one minor to the other person. Now you got a power play for a team, and that team tonight would have been the Eagles getting the power play. Although they haven't scored on theirs tonight, neither have the Thunderbirds, but you know what? You, you, you got to move the puck, but when after when you see what is standing there and you're just killing the clock and you're creating trouble, blow the whistle. I mean, if you want to say move the puck, do a little count on your fingers. One, two, three, four, five, blow the whistle. But no, uh, uh, I just, they, they make the game harder for themselves, these, ref, these officials. They make the game harder for themselves and disappointing to the crowd and, and the people who are watching, and it just, it just blows my mind what they're doing out there sometimes because they don't know what they're doing. Larry Pazman, everybody. Uh, Paz is corner. And uh, Paz, final thought. Uh, the effort was there for the Eagles tonight. It wasn't a lack of effort. It just, uh, you know, it all goal it tending, took. Goaltending took all the effort away from the players. Yeah. I mean, they, I mean they, they were trying to score anything else, but you had good goaltending on both ends of the rink. And, you, 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 hey, <laughs> they, what are you going to do? You know, they both were stars, but... Uh, you, if you want to win a hockey game, you got to score a goal. Well, Larry, the Eagles will look to bounce back tomorrow night as they will end their nine-game homestand at home against Elliott Lake. Uh, we'll be here tomorrow night, 645. We will talk to you then, sir. Thank you. All right, and that'll do it here from Polar Stadium. I want to thank our broadcast engineer, Sam Cox, back in the ESPN 1400 studios, and Rob Horn on the camera, along with Larry Pazban and each and every one of you for listening tonight. Once again, our final score, the Sioux Thunderbirds in overtime defeat the Sioux Eagles by the score of one to nothing. You have been listening to Sioux Eagles Hockey 
on ESPN 1400.